Hello, and welcome to episode 16. Jesus. Of Man About a Movie Dog. What? What? Man About a Podcast. <laughs> oh man my about, God. Man About a Podcast. Man About a Dog Movie Podcast. I think you've had too much sugar. Oh, I have, yeah. Uh, the official podcast of uh, worldgeeklynews.com. Um, we have just left the cinema. Which is part of the job. Which is part of the job, and it's an enjoyable part of the job. Um, we've Until just seen tonight. The Predator. But before we get to that, I'm just going to run through a bit of news with Go you. Go on, T- tell me the good news. The good news, right. <clears throat> Do you know Bloomhouse? Not personally, no. You know they make films and there's one coming out soon. Yeah. The, the Halloween. Yeah, is it? Yeah. Is it? Yeah, it's there, yeah. Yeah. We're just sitting outside the cinema and there's a poster up. Um, Jason Bloom, the guy who is in charge of it, Wants to breathe some life back into the 90s slasher flicks, Scream, and I Know What You Did Last Summer. <sighs> so we've got, like, Halloween reboot, which is looks like it's a sequel to the first Halloween, mm. completely cutting off everything else that came after. Yeah. I know, I know Laurie Strode died in... Uh, which one was it? H2... No, the one after H2O. Resurrection. So would that, would that be 21? <sighs> God knows, I don't know. Um, I'm not... I'm not a big fan of the Halloween, Halloween films. No. I mean, even when, when it started getting things like Mike Miles versus Freddy and all that sort of thing, I thought it just. That's I fr- mean, the, that was the, Jason. Was it? Yeah. That, they, they all just wanted one. That's the problem. <laughs> that was that was one of the only times that me and my mate went to the cinema. We saw one film and then we went back in to watch yeah. uh, Freddy versus Jason. I can't remember what to the first honest, film the was. The only <laughs> film I would that I enjoyed out of those was the first Nightmare. The first Nightmare yeah, yeah, was. Yeah. Unbelievably good. Even Johnny Depp was good in that. <laughs> that's how good a film it was. Oh, that's, yeah. But yeah, it's, it's, it's far, so, isn't it? so. What's your news about it? Uh, that, just that that they're gonna bring. No, no, not Halloween. Yeah, yeah, they're gonna bring Scream, and I know it did last summer. And Scream, yes, I know it did last summer. No, I didn't really like that. So no, much. I didn't like it. But Scream itself, the is first just, Scream was brilliant. Yeah, but it's just a parody of all the eighty slasher films that went yeah. before. And that was what was good about it. But what are they going to do with this now? What Drew Barrymore's going to come back as a zombie. <laughs> the Santa Clara Diet slasher flick. <laughs> now I'd watch that. That'd be quite funny, actually, yeah. That, yeah. Uh, <laughs> all right, I'll move on. You know the BBC are uh, making the His Dark Materials? You, you, Philip, Philip Pullman? No. Philip Pullman. Pullman, yeah. Which is a follow-on from the, um, the, the Dust series. The same series? one. It's the same one. They're, oh. they're, they're doing the TV series. Yeah. Uh, it's possibly one of the most expensive BBC productions. What, even more than Doctor Who. I don't think so. Yeah. Well, you. So you told me Doctor Who had been to pushed Sunday. to Sunday, which means it's the, not the, pushed to Sunday. <laughs> it's been given its own slot and time. Pushed. Uh, yeah. So uh, what the news about this is? His Dark Materials has been commissioned for a second series. But even the, the first one, first one hasn't even got an air date yet. Yeah. I mean, I, I did like the books, I must admit. Yeah. Um, it was an unusual thing where you... It was, it was almost as if your soul was in front of you and you... Yeah, that, that, yeah, I mean, yeah it that, was with you, wasn't it? it was that, yeah, shoulder. that was your, basically your, 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 almost your animal inner self. Yeah. So, but uh, it, the fact that they're so confident that it's going to be good, especially after the film that came out a few years ago... Mm-hmm, the Golden Compass. Yeah, was pants. I, 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 like, the, I like the polar bears. Polar bears. The polar bear's fight, polar bear. Yeah. <laughs> Who was the other one? Who did he fight? Do you remember? What was the bad? No, I don't know the bad. No, I mean no. either. It's probably someone. We're so good at this game, aren't we? We're, we're just, uh, all, well, this, all this practice. We're just trying to get to the Predator. Are we? I thought we were trying to get to number 20 <laughs> in the podcast for the waves that throws out. <laughs> <laughs> we're, I think we're going to... Maybe when we get to 20, we'll do a live yeah, one. A 21. <laughs> we'll a 21. Just... We'll bring back alcohol. See yeah. if it works. Ah, that's a good idea. Yeah. Um... Yeah, but it's going to star James McAvoy and uh, Logan's Daphne Keane. You know, mm. She was the one who played X-23. And she's playing uh, Lyra. Lyra? Yeah. Lyra. What's... So, I don't know. It might be quite good. So, is, is James McAvoy playing like the Daniel Craig role? Yes. Yes. Mm. I mean, he, he's good at everything. I mean, he's even he good is, at yeah. being a baddie nowadays in these woods caught in glass. He looks unbelievable he, uh, in that. He really... He, he, he put on a picture on Instagram mm-hmm. um, and he's peeking around this like the corner and he's got a shaved head and he said who's back uh, Charles or the guy who plays yeah. in uh, not Unbreakable the other one Split so he's like yeah. 
<laughs> it was like, ooh, which reshoot? It turns out it's, it's X-Men reshoots. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, to be honest, a split it could be called Charles. It could be one of them as well. <laughs> we think about it. Let's be another bloody person. Aye, yeah. Um, all right. This is this is news. Um, Said Sa- Sa- Tag <laughs> Tag Mu. Ah, Tag- I'm not going. Tag Mui. Tag Mui. Said Tag Mui. Uh, he's the guy who was first in Wonder Woman. Right. He has possibly been cast as the villain in Bond Twenty Five. Mm, I thought it was going to be Russian. So did I. Yeah. Well, he could be Russian. Oh, is he going to a Russian accent? Well, Maybe. that's fair enough. You don't know. Yeah. I mean, it's uh, well, let's just hope it's going to be a, James, a good James Bond movie. A good James movie, Bond yeah. movie, yeah. I mean, I, I am disappointed. Danny Boyle. Yeah. It's, it's just... <laughs> I mean, I would, it's just what you imagine. You've got uh, you've got your favourite director. Look, I would love James Cameron to do a... You imagine James Cameron doing a oh, James Bond movie? Just, yeah. It would be I mean, mental, that would it? be neat. I mean, I mean, you've got... You've got great people at James Cam. That would be you, you think could it be another Terminator two that sort of thing. You know, as class, I'm not talking the same something yeah. as class as that. Or you could have someone doing like a Transformers. And I, d- have- I don't know though because you, you you've got to think who is actually in charge. It's not the director. It is the Broccoli's. Yeah, and they're not gonna. Well, the Danny Boyle thing. They're not letting him, or they're not letting them move away from their set uh, style. Or- yeah. Or whatever. So well, I mean, to be honest, the amount of money it's going into films now from Chinese, it's never going to be a bad Chinese person nowadays, is it? It's going to be a, a bad Russian or a, a bad. That's a good point. Yeah, because like one of the trailers in tonight's film the was HW the Brothers, was it in? Which one? The HWs. That's the the Shai or uh, Shai Wei Brothers. Is that? What it is? I don't know. The the crazy. The crazy rich the Asians. Crazy rich oh, that, Asians. That's, that's just looks hilarious. I just absolutely. I'm I dying to watch that because. I want to go. Yeah. I want to watch it because uh, I can point out where I've been in Singapore. <laughs> oh, fair enough. But I mean, the fact is as well that it looks like it's a funny movie without having to go down to somewhere yeah. as bad as um, any of the, what you call it, the three hangover, hangover movies. Hangover films, yeah, yeah. I, I, I would love to have a comedy I could show or sit comfortably with my kids and watch. I you know, know what not, you mean, yeah. Not cringing. It doesn't have to be... Oh. It doesn't have to be the lowest common denominator. Yeah, yeah. Well, what? what? Like a Shaun of the Dead? Yeah. Type comedy, Hot Fuzz? But yeah, well, Hot Fuzz is, is still my favourite, yeah. favourite, favourite. <laughs> and there's, there's another one there. Nick Frost, Sean, uh, oh, Simon uh, Pegg movie. Slaughterhouse Rules. Yeah. I don't know what that's going to be like because I don't think they're top right, billed. I don't. Th- yeah, I, I think Michael Sheen's in it as Michael well. Michael Sheen, I think, is going to be the like the main character. I think Simon Pegg, the the, the throwing them out in the in the trailer to try and trick us into thinking, oh, it's, it's like called a metal four. Yeah, yeah. But it's actually they're going to probably get. They're just going to be the flake. Yeah, they're going to yeah. <laughs> the flake's going to fall out <laughs> pretty early on in the film. But I, it does look interesting that film, doesn't it? Yeah. Um, it looks like it's a cross between, as you say, uh, Scream and uh, Centrinians. <laughs> yeah, it does, the, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah, I, yeah it, it does. There's, I'm just looking at the other posters. What is it? Small foot, Johnny English, oh, and importance of being earnest. But you can tell I've got my glasses on and you haven't. I, I'm worried about my vision. I'm going to have to maybe <laughs> check yeah. it out. Um, all right, this news This was a news from last night or today. I can't remember. I think it was last night. What? Nothing. I think we did Henry Cavell. So just no, 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 no. We'll get cheering. to the sad news later. This is the news that... <laughs> bloody hell, do you hear that rain? Holy moly! <laughs> to prove it's live. Yeah. Disney have submitted Black Panther for every award in the Academy Awards, including Best Picture. Why shouldn't they? Well, that... Good point. Why shouldn't they? Yeah. I mean, it's... Uh, I mean, why is it that we have to, um, you know, cater to... What people want. I mean, just because it's popular doesn't mean it's not good. Yeah. I mean, Titanic. I, I know. Um, but you knew, did you hear the news about they were going to do uh, best popular picture? No, I didn't know that. No. The, a few weeks ago, they announced that they were going to make a new award, best yeah. popular picture, and it's for these the the Marvel movies. films and yeah. and all these things that make billions. And, and they've, they've, they've now scrapped it mm. because everyone was like, "Well, why do a separate?" Category. Yeah, I mean, it's 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 almost elitism. Yeah, it is. It is, and it's just saying we 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 are better than you because you like Marvel movies. Yeah, and like they're probably all DC but, fans. But then I suppose, <laughs> but then I suppose like 
last year's was it last year's winner was was that Moonlight the, or was it the, no it was uh, the fish one wasn't it um, uh, Guillermo del Toro um, oh yeah Shape uh, of Water Shape of Water yeah that's pretty out there I enjoyed it I, 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 I really enjoyed, enjoyed it. it I did enjoy it as much as um, Three Billboards Three Billboards was good I still thought I should have won it but that, I mean, that, that was, was good great. When you, or you, I, Tonya. I thought that was brilliant as well. I mean, I, yeah, watch that. You can see the ones who won and why. Um, the a fish, the, the, the fish. That's you. <laughs> the shape of water. Yeah, yeah, but it was. I mean, it was most. I thought it was more because the feel of the fifties and yeah. the feel the of style the style was great, wasn't it? It was more like a anti-Russian. You know that feel from the fifties yeah. and the Russians, and it felt so fifties. It was untrue. But yeah, it was anti-Russian. But then, like they made the, the who were the villains yeah. in it. Uh, the it, it was really, really good. Yeah. Ah. Creature from the Black Lagoon love story. Yeah. I think that's how we describe did it. Did we ever talk about them? We did. We talked about yeah. them before we'd seen them, haven't we? Or I'd seen them, you'd seen them, you talked. Yeah. We should maybe go back. Maybe before next Oscars we can talk about the winners. Yeah. You, did you try to film now? Tr- Why don't we just watch the ones that are going to be in that Oscar? Well, we'll do make that a as decision. well. Because you got hey. them right last time, remember, didn't you? Did I? Yeah, you said Shape of Water. Did I? Or did I have a guess? Oh, yeah. I can't remember. Because I said I, I said I wanted three billboards and I was wrong. I got the right one for um, Best Supporting Actress for I, Tonya. Yeah. And three billboards I got right as well. Yeah. And I got, who was the best actor last year? I got that as well. That was for the Churchill one. It was Oldman. Sirius Black. No, yeah. yeah, it was Oldman. Yeah. Sirius Black one. <laughs> yeah. It just shows how much of an impact the Oscars have on me. Yeah. Well, I knew I got them right. I got them right. You got you got the uh, beginning of Avengers right. So <laughs> yeah. I mean, I, I think you still win. I win yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Although I've 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 ah, there's so much stuff going on about like Avengers four and everything. And I, go on. Oh no. Uh, it, 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 well, it's the scrolls. That's what gets me. You've seen the scrolls, haven't you? Yeah, and the picture, the images. Yeah, the, yeah. Well, I still think they look like the dark elves almost. Yeah, they do, don't they? Yeah. I think it's probably because they've been filmed on a beach and it's bright. Or it might just the fact that it's cheap, cheaper to just have the same costume and just stick. I a, remember, yeah. Stick a just just colour it green or yeah. something. Um, yeah, they are very similar, actually, aren't they? Mm. No, I um, I, I did a, a a small podcast last weekend. Yeah. Um, just to keep the momentum going. Well, it was awful, I tell you. If you, I can't bear to listen back to it because I think I'm like, uh, 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 uh. but I talked about the, the the news and all that sort of stuff. Yeah. And um, the I can't remember. Uh, oh. I was I was working for charity at the time. No, I, so no, no. it was. Uh, it you was were up, it, you were from like six o'clock in I the was morning up from four watching people cycle to, to, to help with the tour <laughs> protecting the people cycle. Yeah, I was uh, I was doing my work for charity. Cherry. We made twenty three thousand pounds, don't we? Jesus Christ, that's good. I know. So. Um no, um the guy who played um Tony Stark's dad has been seen on the reshoots of right. Avengers Four. Mm-hmm. Which to me got me thinking, I was like More time travel again. More time travel and I think it it's now looking like it's pointing towards maybe Tony's gonna have his uh, reconciliation with his father mm-hmm. and Peggy then Tony's Carter. gonna die. I'm hoping Peggy Carter's coming back. They have to, don't they? They yeah. have to finish all the, all the, all, the, all those tied up ends need to be tied up. No, she's got to kiss Captain <laughs> America. Ends. He's got to lift. He's, she's got to lift a leg up. He's got to lift his leg up as well. Yes, like you do in the nineteen forties. <laughs> yes, <laughs> that'd be amazing. <laughs> if she doesn't, but he did. <laughs> because he is, he is. We're assuming he's still a virgin. Well, uh, he said he'd had kissed other women. Did he? When he said that? Well, he said that when um, in Civil War. When she said, "Is that your first kiss for like fifty six years?" I've kissed women. I've kissed women. Yeah, but that's Peggy, isn't it? Yeah. And then he's he's like thinking, "Oh, hang on, then mm-hmm. maybe move away from this family." <laughs> yeah. But yeah, um, I just there's a lot. There's so much speculation to Avengers Four. It's like it's building up to Infinity War again, and with the whole it is. the the whole Captain it's Marvel. It's only seven stuff. months. I know. So like five, it eight, looks great. eight months. And I really like the look of uh, the stuff Marvel. of Ca- Captain Marvel. Yeah, I think it looks. It looks superb. I want to see Wasp again because I've been hearing stories like there's the colour of Captain Marvel and all that you can see in the background and all this sort of stuff. But it wasn't as clear as seeing the Wasp in the first Ant Man. Yeah. You could see that the actual Wasp almost shadow in the background. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I um, the, yeah. We'll move on from Marvel because we've yeah. got some some sad news. We, I'll keep we, dancing. No, we, we should. I should have. I should have set up some music, like, but um, celebrate. No, not that one. I'm wearing my Superman t-shirt today, 
in mourning because Henry Cavill. Well, is this is uh, a the Hollywood de- Reporter? This is a better death of Superman than the, the film was. The Hollywood Reporter have announced, or they they've reported that Henry Cavill is not going to be playing Superman anymore in the DC movies. But apparently, his mustache is <laughs> clever. Um, it's. Uh, the report was something along the lines of uh, talks broke down because he was supposed to appear in Shazam, but because of uh, scheduling, it mm-hmm. hasn't happened. And it looks like that they're not going to pursue anything on that. We've also had the news that Ben Affleck, because of his uh, alleged to rehab, drinking problem, is it alleged? I'm just saying that just in case we get sued. Good point. Well, yeah. what can we be sued? We're not making any money on anything. We're just talking. You get a new car next month. That's. I have a job. <laughs> <laughs> the wife's paying for it. Yeah, I forgot about that. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but and he's. It looks like that because of that, he's probably not going to come back. But I'm, I'm, I'm assuming. I, it's I just think like you a, should step into his shoes. Just offer your, his position up. What? what yeah, are you yeah, for? Superman. Well, I've got beard. You should be some. You can share. They could. They could hey, see the CGI out. Me. Couldn't they? Hey, they've had <laughs> Superman with a beard before. Yeah, but they. And and that's what annoys me about Justice League because yeah. they could have had a beard in that. Yeah. And then shown last. Bit where he'd shaved it off. Yeah, and all you need to do is get a bodysuit with a few ridges in it. You made a few for ridges. It. Look, it'd yeah. have to have a corset. I'd have to borrow Kirk's corset, wouldn't I? And high heels. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I'm I'm quite gutted because I think that he had uh, a lot more to do in that role. Yeah, but that's because you love Superman. I, I do. Superman changes almost as often as James Bond. Full enough. True. And we just got to now think. You've now what your your job is now is to think. Who will play the part best next? Well, the, a lot of things have come up on social media about Michael B. Jordan. Right. Why don't we just say The Rock? Because he's in everything, everything else. else. Oh, you had a bit of news about DC, didn't you? Awesome. Well, he's, no, he's just going to be... He's, he's mentioned for Doc Savage, which I loved in the 70s version. Yeah. Because... Um, but again, it's a Shane Black. I, mean, I was looking at the Shane Black stuff because of the Predator tonight. And yeah. And that was where I picked it up. And I love... I loved the 70s camp stupidity of Doc Savage Man of Bronze <laughs> even the song and um, I don't think he's going to do it I think that it's probably just a rumour because he's, he's Black Adam everything. isn't he he's Black yeah. Adam he is I thought he said Black Adder there Black Adder he's Black yeah. Adder Baldrick <laughs> <laughs> I've got a turnip <laughs> oh. oh do you know what I was thinking right, uh, right I'll, I'll get that one after go on no, I can't remember. What was, I was trying no, to think of a black adder joke. Black adder joke. Well, Go get me a it. cappuccino yeah. <laughs> with extra sprinkles. Yeah. Black adder's not black adder's more like uh, a little adder. slapstick slapping. You know. Oh, I love flash. black adder. I think it's great. Um, but yeah, I'm gutted. Um, I, I I haven't checked. The last time I read it, it hadn't been confirmed by either Warner Brothers or Henry Cavill mm, himself. But, you still think it but is. he's taken on a Netflix role. Um, the Witcher. I think it's a game. This is how crap I am. It's a game series, yeah. and he's playing the main character. So mm-hmm. if he's it's, doing it's al- a- it's, the Witcher, if I remember correctly, it's almost like. Um, do you remember the, the the previous one when Logan was Van Helsing? It's almost like that sort of thing. <laughs> it's that sort of right. role, that, okay. if I remember correctly, from the game. But I I could more than likely be wrong because I yeah. have slept since the last time I played that. Um. So. But taking that, that's going to be quite a long yeah. process. If it works. If it works. Well, because there's not the, many game shows that you know games that work really, really well. Well, it's, a, it's a Netflix series, and yeah, and Netflix don't. And they have more money. Yeah, they, they can somehow. Well, so many subscribers. But labels. I don't know. I don't know because they make. Oh, I don't know. What? There must be too much. There must be more outgoing than incoming. No, because they just keep growing and growing. I mean, if you Mental. get an extra nine million subscribers. In the, last, in the run up to Christmas, it, that, that's the thing now. You get it as a Christmas present off your grandparents. There's Netflix for a year. I haven't got Netflix for a year. Have you not? Year, no. <coughs> oh, well, you haven't got a nice grandparent then. I pay it for myself. Do you? I don't. No, Mrs. pays for me. <laughs> I'm getting a new car. <laughs> yeah, the thing, the thing is, she pays for three, right? Hers, <laughs> Liam's, and buddy Emily's. Guess who has to borrow Tracy's? Me. Hang on. Why have you got three? Because so you have three people logged in at the same time. And watch. You can have two though. Yeah, and there's three. There's three. We've got there's four people in the house. We've got four Amazon. Which call it? Why don't? Why don't you just have two? What? Two. Yeah, and what if the two of them want to argue with each other all the time? 
Why would they argue with each other? Because they're kids. One's tw- 19, no, 20, and one's... But, like, my boys have two different... Uh, I pay for one. Yeah. Right? I've got my name on an account. Yeah. My son's... And they've got mm. one, right? I know you can't watch more than two, but when they're watching, I'm, I'm not. Yeah. So, it's on <laughs> iPads. It's on phones. It's on TVs. I've got fire sticks in every room. Oh, Jesus Christ. See, you spend your money on cars. I spend money on fire sticks. I don't spend money on cars. My wife does. Yeah. Yeah. Because Solo come out this week on fire stick. <sighs> Skip that. No, I tried to watch it. I tried. I tried. I got to the train scene. I haven't seen the train scene yet, but I have got to the Is train that scene. Because you turned it off or because you were busy? I turned it off. Really? Because I was I, I was ironing. I was concentrating. I was I was trying to, you know, get into it. You know, it could be another You Rogue chose one. ironing over solo. No, I iron and watch TV. Oh, that's right. it. Oh, okay. That's my if if no one if they'll leave me alone, just let me <laughs> iron and watch TV, I'll iron for four hours, five hours in a row. You know what? I actually was ironing when I was watching Justice League War. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's because I'm trying to get you into watching the well, cartoons. Well, I'm, I'm, I've watched, I've watched Justice League War. Mm-hmm. I've watched um, the Death of Superman. Mm-hmm. That's brilliant. Did you cry? Was it welling up in your eye? Slightly. Yeah. Well, it should even do. worse now. Yeah. But oh, it's just, it just shows how uh, how they can do it well when they do it well. When they do it is. well, yeah, and then you get what you get in. Yeah, in real Superman. life. I mean, the crisis on two Earths is superb. I've told you the best one still Flashpoint Paradox. I can't get it. My DVD player so won't work. I'll, 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 <laughs> I'll, if you, I'll get a stick and I'll, I'll let you have it, okay? So you've got the extra addition to your DVD it player. It wasn't working. Um, <laughs> um, you can actually get it on Netflix. And, no. I've searched for stuff I've on Netflix. Did it. I mean, it was either Netflix or Amazon Prime. It I might, got it I'll, oh, it might be Amazon Prime. And you know what? My wife's got Amazon Prime at the moment mm. because she's. Uh, I think she ordered something and they gave it for free. Yeah. And then when she came to cancel it, they gave her another month for free. Uh, um, no, I do love my Amazon Prime as well because I've got the music and everything on it. I do. I want to watch. See, I'm a Kindle man. See, that's yeah. the thing. I, I'm a Kindle man, so I've got. I, I mean, the, the, the worst thing they do is every month they'll send me a book. What you've here's three hundred books. Pick which one you want to get for a pound, and I'm buying like seven, seven a month, and I'm. I'm like, ah. That's not too bad. What seven pounds? Yeah, That's all but right. it's constant. I've got yeah. Joe Abercrombie's bloody six books. I'm trying to get through. <laughs> I've got Legend David Gemmell. I mean, it's <laughs> it's killing me. Oh, yeah. And try to watch TV at the same time. Yeah, it. Oh, there's so much to do. Uh, we started watching. Um, what have we started watching? Two things recently on Sky actually. Um, the bodyguard, the, the true story of Harry Cubert. C- uh, so it's got um, the guy from Grey's Anatomy. In. Is it the, the the death of whatever her name is? Is it or the... something like that? Where she's killed this fourteen year old girl that's been killed. Yes. Yeah, and he's been arrested for it yeah. like twenty years later. The or true something. story, or, yeah. or something like that. Yeah, um, and it, it seems all right. But there's another one as well that is awful. It's got um, the guy who played. Oh, I'm really crap tonight. No, Alan Cumming. Alan Cumming. Yeah, Instinct. It's Instinct. Called. Yeah, watched the first two or three, two episodes of that. Mm. It's a bit cheesy, it's, but it could it could it's, grow it's, on it's, me. It's, it's the one. The thing is, they're trying to find the new body and the new combination. It's kind of bones. And, yeah, and they're all trying that sort to do bones stuff, without, yeah. without the sexual tension. Because I mean, yeah. I mean, he, I still think he was a brilliant. Um, what you call it in X Men Two? Mike Roller. Yeah. yeah, he was oh. very good. Because he had he had the, the you know the the fear and he was brilliant yeah. at that bit and the the self loathing and yeah. the, the religious fervor. I it was good. Yeah. Uh, X Men Two is brilliant. It is. It's very good. I was trying to actually watch Avengers 4. Avengers uh, just Wednesday night there. Or Tuesday night. What night is this? Wednesday. It was either Monday or Tuesday. Infinity I tried to War. watch it. Yeah, Infinity War. I tried to watch it again. And uh, the lad was watching it with me. And then he went to his girlfriend's and took my bloody laptop. Why did he take your laptop? Why, why did because, he take his laptop to his girlfriend's? Because he wanted to watch the end of the movie. <sighs> Which I thought, yeah, fine. But it was, I mean, because I've only got the, the, the full version and it's on there... Mm. I can't put it on a stick, so it's just got to be. I I haven't I haven't watched it yet since the cinema. You do need um, to watch it. Again. I know, I know, I do, oh. um, because I think I've been I've been dropping, uh, and I've been like, but it's just another 
Uh, two hours that you don't well, really have time for. No, it's not not even that. It's just the result, the, the ending. Have, no, have your kids seen it? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. You I, sure? Yeah, because I went to see it twice. Oh, yeah, I forgot. Do they want to see it again? No, mm, the Moddy. Have you asked them? Well, no, asked the them? eldest is Moddy, see. Is he? The, you have corrupted that poor kid. The middle child is... Uh, He's, he's, he's we, we, will, of, we will save him. He's more of his own his own person. Is he? What, he's a Doctor he, Who fan? He, no. You know what? He's, Isn't he I don't think he's a geek. And it's a bit worrying. So he takes after his mother then? Possibly. Yeah. So and, she, and the she'll baby... Be, she'll is, be out fighting now. <laughs> the, baby's a, yeah, the baby's a blank canvas. Oh, Christ. And I think I've I'm going to have to give him I some think, Marvel toys or something. I just think I'm not allowed to, to corrupt, corrupt him. This, this time. One for you, one for her, and yeah, one for the dog. Much, yeah. yeah. A man about a dog. <laughs> no, I need. I'm still right. Right, go on. What have you else have you got to say? Uh, the news. I'm all out of news. Right, we need to talk about Predator because I'm di- I'm desperate to get to my joke right at the end. Oh, okay, right. Let me just place this mobile phone down here. Okay, we just seen the Predator. Um, I was shocked that it was a 15. Yeah. At the beginning, I was like, oh, well. I okay. thought it was meant to be a rated R. I, th- I did. Well, I suppose R in America is 17. Yeah. NC, uh, no, not NC17, because that's NC17, but R rating is 17, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Well, I mean, it's the same with them. Some some states are like 18 and 21 rule, isn't it, for drinking yeah. and sex and all that sort of thing? So it's, it's. I mean, they, they've, they each state has its own one, so they probably have to do one that does everywhere yeah. for that sort of thing to cover it all. Yeah. So, yeah. Shane Black. Returns as director. Yeah. Uh, did he write it as well? I think he did. I think that because there was a lot of humour mm-hmm. in it. Um, go on. We'll we'll try and do no spoilers. No spoilers. First. Right. Okay. <clears throat> Olivia Munn. Right. I'll say. I'll, uh, this is unfortunately a spoiler. It's brilliant that uh, Stargazer, who just happens to you know. You don't see any background of her apart from that, but she knows how to fight. Use Thank a machine you. gun, everything Thank else as you. well. Where is this? Every American woman turns into what you call it, um, out of Terminator. You know, Linda, Linda Hamilton. Yeah, but no, no, out of Terminator Two when yeah. she's all trained up. Yeah, trained up. Yeah. I mean, as everybody watches you know, Terminator right. Two and just wants the. What distance. got me about that is she was brought in, and on the same day she learned. Everything she needed to know yeah. about the predator. Yeah. What? There was no, no real movement on how she learnt this stuff. She looked through a microscope and went a couple of DNA. times. It turns out that he's done this and all that. Yeah. It's like no, you don't know that from that. That. Mm. <laughs> it's, a, it's a genome from that, so you can recognise it immediately. What? What was the story in this? Basically. I'm answering my own question. Yeah. I don't know why. No, right. <laughs> the, thing, the, the thing that got me is right, from this, have you read any of the lore around it? Have you read any of the books? Have you read any comics? Have you read any like that? No. Right. It's a film series. Right. I should okay. have no, to. No, 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 no. If you read into it, and the whole thing about it is predators are almost like samurai, right? They're like samurai. They've got very honour bound. I know the honour. And they've now been turned into. Um, like you know, it's like uh, the baddie from Incredibles, where they just try to upgrade themselves upgrade all the time yeah, yeah, yeah. until yeah. they get strong enough. To, that's that's not being honourable. It was like they they were yeah they had good weapons and all that, but they just went out and fought. Yeah, and it wasn't well. Let's upgrade ourselves and genetic mutate, genetic mutation, all that sort of thing. They've lost their honour, the samurai like standing. Yeah, that that's what that's why some of the the, the, the lore is almost like it, like Logan going to Japan and stuff like yeah, that, yeah. like Batman going to Japan. The they had they had honor, personal yeah. honor. That was a whole load of crock. Yeah, <laughs> right. All right. All right. Before we, we're gonna right, okay. we're gonna quick, quickly rush this and then get into spoilers because yeah. you seem like you're oh! uh, explore. Um, the, the story was an alien, no, an alien, a predator, uh, an original. Predator yeah. uh, crash landed to Earth because there's a fight in space yeah. with a bigger ship. There's always a bigger ship, it yeah. turns out. And he crash lands and then he gets captured by the government, mm-hmm. as usual. And then but, it all but, but it's happened been, so they, fast. They've had some stuff nicked off by the, yes. the plucky American. Who was he? 
Boyd Holbrook, what's he been in before? He was in Logan, he was the guy with the mace. Ah, around. yes, that sure. was it. Yes, thank you. All you did was ask. Yes. Because I recognised the name and I was like, I know him, who's he? Yeah. His accent's a bit, you know, he's, he's like, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, so he steals a lot of equipment and then... And yeah. then the story starts, and then it turns out that there's a the the big spaceship is coming, is tracking them, and mm-hmm. he, he, he's and they've had to make them bigger and bigger. Seven yeah. foot's not big enough Seven nowadays. Foot, no. You've got to have a eleven foot predator. So apparently, he's been crossed with a Wookie. Yeah. To make them bigger. So, yeah, basically that's it, and then it's like a rush to the end. Mm-hmm. So that's your spoiler-free review of the Predator, and now we're going to go into spoilers. Yeah. <laughs> My favourite bit in the whole movie, right, yeah, was when end. he, yeah, when he chopped his leg off, they chopped his arms off, right, and he's lying there, and all I thought of was um, Monty Python and the Holy Grail. <laughs> the black it is, a scratch. <laughs> and I just thought, I can end, but I'm going to get <laughs> Come back and fight. <laughs> Excellent. As, as soon as I saw it, you know what I was the legs were going. Yeah, because that is what the predator is. He is the, the, the <laughs> black, black knight, isn't he? <laughs> <laughs> we know what it is. The human DNA that is found yeah. is John Cleese. <laughs> He's the black knight. <laughs> You've got an arm off. <laughs> it's but a scratch. <laughs> Come on, chicken. Oh my god. Yeah. <sighs> Uh, well, at least that, that gave me off. That's why I was sat there laughing. That just, it just blew me. There was a few I things in it yeah. that just... I just realised. This is the first Shane Black film that's not set at Christmas. What, Kiss Kiss Bang Bang was at Christmas? I am assuming, I'm sure all these films are set at Christmas. Right. What, is he Home Alone 2? Is that what he's trying to get? A job? <laughs> Maybe. Yeah. Because um, Kiss Kiss Bang Bang was brilliant. It's a fabulous movie. Absolutely brilliant. I love it. Val Kilmer is brilliant in that movie. Maybe you've never seen it, have you? No, I haven't. You haven't seen it. You have That's to watch it. It's sorry. hilarious. I know. I know. It's almost like nice guys. It's all. It's like a. It's like a who done it? Murder investigate. Murder. 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 <laughs> murder. 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 Um, yeah. And it moves from New York, where the guys are. Where, fun enough, um, Iron Man is an ex-con who appears for a, a like a show in a film. Yeah. And gets taken over to Los Angeles, and then they all start killing everybody. No. It's a good movie. Yeah, I'll, I'll get on it because mm-hmm. I'm. I'm doing. You, when you you. You give me a list of films to do. I'm actually starting going through them. Are they? Yeah. Well, at least you're getting some decent movies to watch then instead of DC <sighs> adaptions. Up. Right. So, The Predator. <sighs> yeah. Go on. No, I was going to, uh, yeah, I was just, I'm going to talk about other movies that I'd watch there on this week as well. Because <laughs> um, I got my message to watch a Korean horror movie. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Which one? Train to Busan. Ah, I'm, that's on my list. Yeah. I'm going to watch it. It's superb. There's a sequel but, coming out, isn't there? No, it's a prequel. A prequel. Which is called Soul Station. Right. And uh, <laughs> I got her to watch that as well. Yeah, right, okay. Hey, I, I have got my message to watch Korean horror movies, yes. animated, animated Korean horror movies, and she loved it. I'll get on it. Yeah, because um, on that. If I can it. convert Tracy, you can convert Buddy oh, Marie. No, yeah. Yeah. well, but maybe. anyway, Predator. It was fast. It didn't stop. No, it's amazing how if you break into a bus of American, um, how how do we put it politely. Um, people who are suffering from war, strain, yeah. and stress, turn into the best fighting force in That's, the world. Yeah, and well, it look at Rambo. Every time. Look yeah. Rambo. Um, I found I found a lot of the uh, there was a lot of intolerance towards um, retardedness, uh, you know, disabilities Asperger. and stuff like that. Well, yeah. so when, he was, when he was calling them, As- I fancy an Asperger. Yeah, those kids at the beginning. That was that makes sense. That that's not. That, that's kids being kids. That's been kids being kids, horrible kids. Kids, kids being nasty kids. So they got the come up. It's heathers and um, bad, bad, you yeah, know, bad girls, mean girls. But even them. like the the adults were like uh, kind of derogatory to him yeah. as well. And the bad guy who was meant to be the bad guy, yeah, was a bad was, guy. Yeah. <laughs> but I mean, the reverse psychology bit was probably the best bit in the movie, yeah, and I'm not going to yeah. say it <laughs> because uh, I don't know if our kids will be listening to this at all. But uh, that was that was the best line. The kid yeah, did the was, best yeah. line. Yeah, it was good. Um, so, so basically, this kid has uh, he's on the spectrum, isn't he? Yeah. And they go down the route and say that it's possibly a new, uh, ooh, what was it? It was a evolution. mutation and evolution. Yeah. The next next stage. Mutants. I know that's what I said. I just I just thought I'd look, get your your juices flowing. <laughs> and it's 20th Century Fox. Yeah. Jesus Christ! It's in the X Men universe, and it's Disney on it. 
Oh, you, did, you, did you get a little bit sad when the uh, 20th Century Fox... Lo- I lo- loved it in 3D. Yeah, it was and good, And the little R, just yeah. a little R stuck out. And but it's like, and... we're not going to get that much soon. Well, I mean, you bought everything... It's all going to be... The, but when it's, you've you've got to, everything Disney goes crap. through about three or four different production units just to save the cost and in case... But that's going to be work. gone, isn't it? Well, we'll just watch old movies then. Yeah... Yeah. I, mean, I missed that. I missed that at the beginning of Star Wars. I miss Universal. You know, because do you remember? Yeah, we seen. No, it's not gone. But I haven't seen one for a while. Yeah. The one I saw was the one that used to be the old plane, and it changed. Ever seen the one that yeah, adapted? Yeah. There and was, it changed. I can't remember which film it was, and it's where they go. They run through every yeah, single one. That's what I'm talking yeah, about. I don't know, Jurassic World or something like that. But yeah, I, I like the one where it's it's the uh, I think it's at the beginning of Jurassic Park. And it's it looks like it's really there, yeah. And it's just moving. It's brilliant. No, it's <laughs> we should have a conversation about all the nice studios, yeah. <laughs> logos, and, and the ones that have gone missing, Miramax and stuff like yeah, this well. disappeared. Yeah, those. Oh, no, no, I'm not gonna. It will move on. Back to Predator. <laughs> Back to Predator. The, it was. It was basically. It's and that's what happened with Predators as well. You've got your normal Predator, and then that's not scary enough anymore. Got We've one, got yeah. to be bigger and better. I mean, it's it's, it's like Transformers all over again. We have a the bigger badier. To be honest, it's kind of like Alien because yeah. we, once you've seen the Alien, there's nothing more you can do with it. Mm-hmm. So you get you have to go bigger. But I mean, that's the whole Alien and. Um, Alien and Predator. Did you notice that they mentioned that they didn't mention Alien versus Predator in the Antarctic? They yeah. only mentioned eighty seven and ninety seven, which yeah. is Predator One and Predator Two. But they, they you could even say that Predator Predators yeah, is, is because you have the Predator dogs yeah. in this. And so why so that is still canon. Yeah. But the yeah, Predator Alien versus Predator isn't isn't canon because we all know that David created the alien. <laughs> well, and well, if you again, if you read some of it, that's what they call. We we are called soft bodies, and the aliens are called hard bodies. Yeah. And in, in in the books, and they actually seed the aliens into different worlds and then go and hunt them. Yeah. That's the whole idea. No, I I I liked Alien versus Predator. Yeah. And I know that the which the, one the, two or one the first one. I in thought the there pyramid. was more of a story mm-hmm. with that, whereas. The second one, I don't know, it was a continuation, but mm. it was just gore for God's sake, wasn't it? And quite, yeah. Cheap. Yeah. Yeah. But the, the first one, I, I like the idea of, like, ancient Amazed. aliens and all mm. that sort of stuff. And I was expecting Indiana Jones to come up with a crystal skull and just <laughs> and ruin that movie as well. Mm, bastards. Um, <laughs> but we watched it, we enjoyed it, uh, uh, what you call it, last week, didn't we? Because I was texting you about the fact that we were watching... Oh, uh, Last Crusade was yeah. on, yeah, it was, uh, yeah. The last hurrah. And I think I put a picture on, I took a picture of the yeah. la- of the credits rolling up and like Harrison Ford's name is just there and, mm. and I think I put, and they never made an Indiana Jones <laughs> film again. Because the ending, they're riding off into the sunset. Yep. They're literally doing it. That is the end. You can't go further than that. Yeah, um, but yeah, the I I there were aspects of the film that I liked. Yeah, but the weapons were decent. Yeah, the new... um, I don't the bullets never seemed to touch them. The bullets never seemed to run out either. No, that was great, especially the the Olivia Munn's bullets. She she had so much exposition in her. Yeah, about I didn't even notice anything about the. Uh... <clears throat> The, the the bigger predators um, exoskeleton. exoskeleton yeah didn't see it because it wasn't there it was too dark was it three D was it three D we didn't could see it be being, yeah but she oh, like you said she seemed to know everything that was going on mm-hmm. straight away yeah and I didn't like that it's I mean it's it's the easy it. out again it's the cheap easy quick out. Yeah. Instead of developing a story or looking at the story, it's, well, how can we get from A to B as fast as possible? Bad James Bond movie, when they're just going boom, 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 yeah. they, they've got what they want as the setups. It's, it's, it's linking them. Yeah. They know they've got a fight here, fight there, fight there. Uh, you're going to fight the first alien, then the second alien, then the third yeah. alien, and then we'll get to the climax. I wanted a team-up between the first alien and the, the humans. Did you? Yeah. 
but we didn't get it. But he he, he gave him. I mean, that was the, the point you were going to do it. He was offering them the the, yeah. the the thing for his arm. That's when the big arm came through and dragged him out. Yeah, yeah. But it was a bit sticking out. You know, the claws would go like eight feet. But like when he killed that guy up through the well, I think I think that's they're supposed to have been like augmented. So instead yeah. of having a spear, it. The, the fucking Wolverine. Oh, oh God, no. I saw it. <laughs> yeah, it was you. It wasn't me. Um, it was. It wasn't Wolverine. It was what you call him coming out. It was Deadpool. Yeah. From from the first Wolverine. <laughs> the big yeah. claws come out. Yeah. Weird. <laughs> um, I I didn't. It was. Uh, that was what I was gonna say. Jake Brucey. Yeah. <laughs> Do you we, think he was the? We both laughed. Yeah, we did. We, ju- we just saw him and started laughing. I, I, what, which film did you think of? Well, I thought of his dad in the second one. What Gary Busey? Yeah, he's in Predator Two, isn't he? Yeah, but no, I thought I was trying to think: is it Starship Troopers? <laughs> A good point. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, or the Frighteners. I was thinking Frighteners. Yeah, I mean, but it was, it was it was Starship Troopers with the other aliens as well. I was thinking. <laughs> yeah. It. Yeah. It's, it. I thought it was his brother, not his dad. I thought it was his dad. I thought it was his brother. I don't know. Well, yeah. I'm, I'm assuming that that's the link there. Mm-hmm. I, I would have expected him to have died the same way. Yeah. <laughs> Being cut in half. Um, what did you think about the whole reference into 1987... 1997. I didn't mind that so much. I wanted Danny Glover to come back. Yeah, yeah. would have been, would've been but nice. But the, the good thing was the catching <clears throat> when you know when he caught, he tried to catch it. That's like, catch it. Catch it's it. on your wrist. Oh, <laughs> shit! No, I don't. Yeah, he um, because that's what killed the second one, wasn't it? Yeah. <laughs> it would. It it was okay. I'm I'm not really happy with. It. But then again, the first film. Is a classic. The first one's superb. The second one's boring. The second one's rubbish. I yeah. think. I think the second one's rubbish. It, it's not great. And it, this one is. I I, I wanted pre- with Del Toro inv- involved in in Predators yeah. as well. I expect that to be brilliant. Yeah. And I was disappointed in that as now, well. Now I've I got the box set this last weekend, and I haven't watched Predators yet. <laughs> I, oh. I've only watched it mm. once. Um. But again, it's it's the whole. Uh, making things bigger and yeah. scarier, but I like the. I, I think I vaguely remember the ending where he thinks he's won, mm-hmm. but then there's more things coming down, yeah. and it's all starting all over again. And I like the whole. Kids, I actually thought they were going to reference that in the last. See, see pod. I think they should have sequeled that. Because you saw loads of pods coming out, didn't you? Yeah. The first plane was coming down, but I thought. They, they would have made a sequel to that if it they, done better. They, done, they did. A, they did a comic book sequel. Yeah. And a comic book prequel, I think. Um, but that pod at the end, where it was, it turned out the the small, the, the the original predator was bringing a gift to the humans, which I didn't really understand, because the the, the army guy was saying, unless they're the ones who think, <coughs> who have still got their honor, and these other blokes are just well, that's know. what it was in Predators. The yeah. the normal ones had honor, mm-hmm. and the bigger ones weren't as yeah. honorable. So, yeah, but I, I I don't get the Predator Killer thing at the end because mm-hmm. the, the, the smaller Predator gives them a gift that can kill Predators. Unless they're going to go to the planet again and kill. They're going to get five or six next time. He's family is five or six yeah, or seven. maybe. Eight. But then I'm, I'm assuming that they're going to be able to, with the help of the kid, they're going to be able more. to make more of that. Mm-hmm. So they're arming themselves. It's kind of like... Um, Independence Day Resurgence, where they've taken all the technology, <laughs> and but they haven't adapted it far yeah. enough. Was that uh, 20th Century Fox as well? I don't know. Oh, I still want to see. <laughs> it's the only film I've seen in IMAX. Yeah, you said. Yeah, I, we were talking. And it was about, worth it. It was, was worth it. I was talking to someone about IMAX today. I was like, I've never watched a film in IMAX, uh, and the closest one to us is Manchester. Still? Is it Manchester? Still print box. Someone said there was Preston. Preston after looking at that, but no, yeah. I know the I know the print works. I don't know if it's still open because I know Odeon sold it, but I don't know if it's still open. But no, I don't was, know. I think uh, traffic we should, center, one at traffic we should, center, re- I didn't think it was an IMAX, but we'll have to I look into it. I think Marvel the Infinity should be IMAX. Well, maybe we have to, yes. But that's going to be twenty five thirty quid. We might have to get a loan. <laughs> that might have to be the live one. No, <laughs> I'll have to go with the, take the messies and let them have a night out <laughs> yeah. in Blue Manchester. You go get drunk girls. We'll see you in an hour. No, not an hour. Yeah. Three hours. Three hours. Four hours. Four hours. I've, I've got to go because I'm getting shouted at right. phone calls. I will finish this off. Um, and uh, yeah, so you've got a nip off. I've got a nip off because I've got a, a child who wants to come home. And I've got to go home because yeah. I have to be up early. <laughs>
as yeah, well. Yeah, so have I. I mean, but I, I will, I'm, I might continue yeah. a little bit at the end here mm -hmm. because I want to just quickly, quickly review some such. You just want to talk stuff. about Henry Cabell and how you, 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 you I've talked about that. I'm, I might write an article tomorrow about it because I am a little bit teary. <laughs> I just feel <laughs> like the should the. the <laughs> He was. Uh, they should have done Man of Steel two before they did Batman v Superman. God damn it! They should have done a lot of things with everybody. Batman vs Superman. Yeah. Hello, this is your point, Movie Geek. Um, after recording our podcast for the Predator the other night and releasing news that Henry Cavill had quit Superman, the way news changed, we had to get back together and finish off our podcast. So this is the second part. Recorded a couple of days later. Enjoy. Thank you. Yeah, so part. So we're two. back. Yeah, part two. <laughs> no rain, no echo. Yeah. Well, so, right. Th what you just said, you would rather watch Suicide Squad than Man of Steel. I wouldn't. I know you wouldn't because you're weird. <laughs> it's just. Yeah. It's because Batman's in it. No. no. <laughs> <laughs> I think, like you said, the in-play is good. I, there, there are good elements to Suicide yeah. Squad. The body was atrocious. Body was crap. The body was actually more um, the boss. Yeah. Played it. She was the yeah. real body, which is, she has been. In Could they not have done it? So, I think I heard this somewhere. So it's probably not my idea. But instead of them destroying um, New York, no, who was it? What was it? What was the woman called? Uh, Enchantress. Enchantress. Maybe like Batman swoops in and gets rid of her. Before they have chance to do oh, it. Oh, Jesus. Well, think about it, right? Yeah. Because then everything they've done is for nothing. <laughs> and they just did their going. Yeah. Yeah, but they're still trying to make them heroes, even if they're meant to be anti heroes. I mean, yeah. even, even Harley Quinn's meant to be wanting to be part of a team. But you've seen them. But I mean, you haven't watched all the cartoons yet. No, like, but I have watched Assault on Arkham. Right. And that is a far superior Suicide I did tell Squad you. film. I did tell you. It is brilliant. It is. I'm just going to say, yeah, say once. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> But I mean, it, it should, the, the the characters are much better. Yeah. Even the, the penguin's good. I, I like the penguin in it. I like. Um, but there's more Joker suicide in, in Suicide Squad yeah. in in Assault on Arkham mm -hmm. as well. Then, you know, we 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 knew who was going to have Die. the head explode mm -hmm. in that. Uh, well, we we should maybe spend. You know how we did a yeah. Marvel yeah. podcast. We should maybe have a DC podcast and yeah, just I mean, talk about that. Yeah. Um, it doesn't change. Yeah. <laughs> but we'll. Didn't I, 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 I suppose the next one we'll we'll do the uh, animated films because I, I'm halfway through. Them. You're halfway through. You're not halfway through them because they keep making more of them. But I I've mean, seen, there's I've seen a lot. You've seen a lot. Have, have you seen... have you seen uh, Death of Superman? No, I haven't watched that yet. I'm saving that for my ironing on a Sunday. Ah, it's very good. I mean, I've, I've watched uh, more up to now. I've watched Batman, Harley Quinn, yeah. I've watched Batman, Teen Titans, oh, sorry, Te Justice League versus Teen Titans. That was another one I was going to, about to watch, and then it's... we may have said, I'm not watching this. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's, it's okay. It's nowhere near as good as the, the earlier ones. This, I mean, especially Batman, Harley Quinn, I felt they're, they're upping the sex and downing the the animation, which, I mean, yeah. the, the animation in both Flashpoint Paradox and... Um, what? Was okay. I, I mean, it's, it seems feels more like, almost like a... Uh, Justice League of America sort yeah. of thing, the the drawing sort of thing. I mean, I, I haven't actually watched any of the Justice League of America cartoons. Yeah. I just I refuse to go down there. <laughs> it's it's um, but it's Flash Flashpoint Paradox. Honestly, that and which got are equal. Suicide Squad, Assault on Arkham. Yeah. They are they are the best. Yeah, I'd have to have a look, but I'm sure Assault on Arkham is. It looks like it's set mm -hmm. in the video game, mm -hmm. the, the Arkham Asylum video, because it's the same. So I'm, I, I wouldn't put it past them. Yeah. Be like, but Ke is it Kevin Conroy doing the voice? Because yeah. he does the voice all yeah. the time. Right? He's, he, he to me is Batman. He is. Yeah. Yeah. He has put... to be up there with yeah. all the all the like live action ones as well. Yeah. Isn't well, it? above several of them. Oh, you know what I did watch? Um, Ocean's Eight. Mask of the Phantasm. Right. Yeah, I've seen that it's one. Like I, the... I don't mind that one. No, it's it's, it's, yeah. it's all right, but mm. you know who the villain is because yeah, it's the only new character. Yeah. Oh, there's. <laughs> The Red Hood. Have you seen that one? Yeah, I've seen that. That was seen that years ago. Yeah. I remember watching it again because it's got my missus's. Uh... Jared Pakalaki. No, the other one. The the one that she'd probably leave me for. Jared Pakalaki. No, the other one. 
Jensen Ackles. Oh, Jensen Ackles, that's what I meant. Sorry, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but then again, we know who you're missing. Yeah. Leave you for the, the, yeah, <laughs> the, the guy. Well, yeah, there's, there's probably a few. <laughs> uh, if you keep watching, Karen, <laughs> <laughs> she did. She she found my uh, comic book stash in the garage, and she's like, as long as as long as I'm not normal, just a pawn. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, some of the scantily clad women in that, you know. Um, yeah. No, she was like, as long as I've known you, you've never been in the comics. What's happened? <laughs> <laughs> Am I getting blamed for that as well? No, because I, I started collecting them before before we'd started this. Um, it's because of the Rebirth stuff. It, mm-hmm. the, the New 52 finished and then they, they did the Rebirth. So I, I went into the comic book shop. And I like the comic book shop in town. The guy's... The one in the, uh, the, the market? It's not the... now, no. He's, he's actually got a shop next to... Um, the Chinese. That helps him battle. They mean the, the one Chinese. <laughs> yeah. Uh, the the jade. Green jade. Yeah. yeah I know what you mean which one it is. He's right next to. Mm-hmm. Right, he he won he won, um, last year's Christmas, uh, shop front display, because he had a Star Wars, <laughs> hoff. It was really really good, and I think he's done it two years in a row, and he's mm. he's doing a different one. He said he's going to move away from. Star Wars this year. Do Star Trek? Uh, no, I don't know. I think he's gonna. I think he's gonna do because he, he didn't tell me what it was, but he said we're getting street lights, and I was like, "You're gonna do Gremlins or something like that." Do you hear them the think of making a new Gremlins? Are they? Yeah. Crikey. Mm. That's funny because like um, on Instagram, Paddy Considine, Considine. Mm-hmm. He put a picture on of him and a gremlin. Yeah, there's so about there was if... about ten new movies that had, and that when there's a new Beetlejuice. How are they doing that? And it's just I was watching this like a, a video and it was the ten releases you don't know are being made, sort of thing. Probably the rocks in it. Yeah, because he's in everything else. <laughs> the one he's paid hundred ten million a year. I know, nuts. Oh, I remember when he was on WWF. Yeah, getting one hundred ten million a year. <laughs> yeah. If you smell it. Um, right, we're, we're gonna have to. <laughs> we're gonna... It's like this every time. It's a fifteen-minute intro to a two-second well, film. Well, it wasn't really. This is like a separate <laughs> podcast. It's really hard to do. It's either we're gonna have to maybe get rid of the other one oh, completely, geez. but I'm not gonna because we we talked a lot about in stuff. So I'm gonna just add it in right. somehow. I'll add it'll it all be, in. It'll be a. It'll be an addendum. Yeah, with the podcast release of the extra stuff that we don't have. Yeah, on the it might be podcast. just an, a really big podcast. Yeah. We're gonna have to do a lot of editing this weekend. God you've damn got, it! You've got, an hour, you've got an hour and fifteen to pick up your lad. Yeah, so it's a, um, you're not giving him a shout out. You know he's doing his stage. You're not going to give the, the, uh, the player. well. It's not out until next year. He's just. It's this is literally the second. Yeah. Um, rehearsal, but he's he's doing. Um, it's called Time Copter. It's, it's written by the people who run the, the thing. So. Um, and they're going to do it on stage in the in the town, and he's playing. I think is the third third build character. Dun, dun, dun. So it's pretty cool. So is he? Does that mean he's like uh, Leonard McCoy then? He's Could not. Be, he's, yeah. he's not the yeah. and he's not Captain yeah. Cuff. He's uh, <laughs> yeah. Leonard McCoy. Yeah. But I think the other the, the two people above him are older. So right. You know, and but yeah, it's good. Hey. He only he only started last year. And <laughs> we, he had three nights doing this, um, doing the railway children, and he uh, he was he was just like a background a uh, sleeper. <laughs> he, yeah, he was just in the background. He had one line when it would they were they went through like a history of uh, trains and and how people would complain about them. And I complain about them now, mm. and I think his line was I, I know his line. I don't know why I'm saying. I think I know his line. His line was. And the sheep will get on the tracks and cause accidents, right? He did it better than me. But yeah. on the third night, the only night that we didn't go, a couple of kids didn't turn up, and he got their roles. So he had, like, his line, someone else's line, and another person's line all thrown in. And I wish I'd have seen it. Honestly, <laughs> honestly I wish this was a video <laughs> podcast. The glee and, what do you call it, fatherly pride. <laughs> It was, but I didn't see it. Yeah. And me, me mum ran So it up. never happened and you, he's just telling you... No, no, my mum saw yeah. it. She said that, I thought he only had one line. And, and he, he was throughout this whole section. And I was like, oh, God. Because I went to the first night. No one was going on the first night. And he was like, oh, no one's going. I was like, right, I'll get a ticket. So <laughs> me and my dad went. And we watched it, so... There we, is a bar. <laughs> <laughs> dad, you're driving. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, uh, so where was I going from that? Why why was I talking about that? 
Uh, your son, we we'll just say about your son and giving him a shout out because of the play yeah. he was doing. Yeah, so hopefully he'll uh, be in Doctor Who next week. Be in Doctor Who next well, year. I reckon that's what he'd want to do. Either yeah. that or Batman. I think he's been corrupted by his dad and it's going to be Doctor Who. Well, I don't know. That's coming out soon, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Um, now it's moved to a Sunday. Sunday, yeah. And the Doctor Who fanatic didn't even realise. I didn't. I just saw the date, 7th yeah. of October, and I was like, okay. Oh, that's a Sunday? <laughs> <laughs> We're going to have to... We, we talked about <coughs> Henry Cavill leaving yeah. uh, Superman. That was your big news this week. That was my big it? news this week. Uh, we kept it to the end. You almost spoiled it by spilling it early on. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, and then it turned out the day after, uh, his publicist came out and said, oh, there's, there's, there's no movement on anything. His, the cape's still hung up in the, in the wardrobe oh, or whatever. Christ. And then Warner Brothers announced a statement saying, our relationship with Henry Cavill hasn't changed. Uh, there are they no, still hate him. No, no, yeah. <laughs> There's no set movement on Man of Steel 2 or, or an, another mm. suit. And it's like, right, well, that's your biggest problem. Make Man of Steel 2. Hashtag make Man of Steel 2. I'm pushing this. I'm going to push it now. Have you got more than three people voted for it? <sighs> and you, you, you just borrowed your messies in your son's phone and just put I may, I may hashtag. Yeah. That would be quite good, yeah. Um, yeah, I'll just do it myself. <laughs> but, Go to every phone. Let's see your phone for two seconds. But did did you see the Instagram post that he posted? Uh, I saw the. I just saw a bit where he had the uh, the Krypton yeah, yeah, t-shirt. Yeah, yeah, he had Krypton t-shirt on. He was just he <laughs> sat in front of the camera, stone like no stony face. Yeah, stony faced, and and he's looking down, and then there's music. Um, what is it? It's the the waltz, theme tune? is it waltz? What, no. last, the last waltz? Uh, da, 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 da. Right, but it's dog barking. So mm-hmm. someone said, maybe they bring crypto. The- <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> but I could see them going in that direction, couldn't you? Ah, <laughs> uh, well, because they can't get a Batman, so they have a, a dog. So um, do, you and that- play, do you want to play? Do you want to be in Batman? <laughs> <laughs> I'm and- talking to me dog. <laughs> <laughs> and then he, he, he raises up a... Uh, toy of him his super bad and then lows it down and that's it mm. so no real response there have you got a three foot one of his at home my son Superman. has did he did he yeah. want it or is it just something that you'd bought him for Christmas and said it, was, go, it, it wasn't bought by me it was bought by someone else but yeah I don't think he wants it <laughs> <laughs> um, he wanted a Batman toy he's got one now so. yeah. Um, but yeah that's everything was a little bit cryptic but it just looks like it's he he's he's played Superman three times. Mm-hmm. He was uh, contracted for four. It looks like they're going through contract negotiations, mm. and maybe that's I I reckon maybe someone's leaked it so that he well, gets more What was more the money. other news? What was the other news that um, they were trying to hide? Uh, John Hamm has has thrown his hat into play Batman. Or I would mind him. I'd, no, I wouldn't mind I'd, him. I'd, I'd, he's a good actor. And, and uh, he could take the place of Ben yeah, Affleck quite well. Right age. Yeah. Um, and to be honest, the, in Baby Driver, and a few other yeah. things, he's played some real he bad. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Psycho. Like, psycho, but he's all right. He's like the best one of them. Yeah. Up until the end. Until you annoy him. Yeah. And then he's, then he's vicious. Was really good. But, but no, I, it just. That was released after the Superman stuff. Yeah. And I, I wouldn't put past them to say, right, we're going to say that you're going to leave. Um, just so that you know we can get rid of F- Affleck, so yeah. that no one goes crazy. I don't know. It's just there's a lot of crazy stuff going it, on. It just smells a bit. It does, to yeah. Yeah, and it's it, a bit like Josie Mourinho, Man United. He's just trying to deflect constantly. Yes, and uh, that's that's for you geeks. You know, that's a football team. I'm just saying yes. I don't. Yeah, understand he's a rugby is. player. <laughs> the only time we've ever played football together, we played bubble football, which was my birthday. <laughs> we'll do that again. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I could fit in. I oh, know, me neither. Um, no, it was. I don't. I don't know. I don't know what's going on with DC. The the release that like I just read you some news that Supergirl, the movie. Mm-hmm. Not the, hang on. Let me pull back a bit. Super <laughs> Supergirl, the new film, will have the villain Brainiac. Mm-hmm. Everyone wants. Most people want. I want Brainiac versus Superman. Yeah. So, did, 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 did Brainiac take over Krypton or was it um... he, he goes around planets and yeah. puts them in bottles but that's another way you could bring in like Kandor yeah 
if you have his brainer. cousins and all that stuff. Yeah. yeah, but that's how you get Supergirl out, isn't it? Yeah. So that that would be a way of introducing Supergirl instead of the the way they did in the oh, TV series. I suppose that's what you could do. You could have a Supergirl film set in on Canada. Krypton or or that, mm-hmm. and then at the end she loses to Brainiac. To Brainiac, and then that runs into then a Superman film. I, I don't know. There's there's so much you could do. So freaking do it, Warner Brothers. Um, I, I still think Warner Brothers as and DC don't have a definitive plan. No, they don't. As we said before, we think that Justice League was rushed to get um, to finish off that to get trilogy. a group together yeah. as quickly as possible. Yeah. I mean, they didn't get Darkseid in before Avengers got um, Thanos. Yeah, but it's the fact is they seem to be just rushing, rushing, rushing. Yeah, they, it's like they've got one big stick and they keep using the big stick instead of using. You know, little ladders to build up. I mean, apart Thor Ragnarok was superb, but I really, really enjoyed Ant Man, yeah. and it wasn't a big spectacular. Yeah. Which was the first one or the second? The second one. The I prefer the yeah. second one more. But the fact is that that they're saying right, it's it's not. I mean, above, it's not world ending. It's not world ending. It's it's. I mean, it's like your friend neighborhood Spider Man. Yes. There, there's different. It's like street level criminals and street level uh, heroes. Yeah. You don't have to have the big baddie every no. time. I mean the Flash, I mean Captain Boomerang or um, yeah, well, Mirror that, Man and stuff like that. They're they're never going to try and take over the world, are they? No, but that's it. You keep the the world ending crises for when they get the together. Justice League mm-hmm. or even Superman because, like you say, he is the most the big open. gun. Yeah, he's the big gun. So you can have that. You can even have Superman going off world to do stuff yeah. and Batman to save him. And yeah, well, whatever. <laughs> and. Then, <laughs> I did like that scene in uh, in Justice League War when he, he's like, yeah. "I'm going to save the big gun." <laughs> Takes his mask off. No, yeah. like, it's like, "Wow, well, cool." Um, but yeah, keep, give like Flash and and Cyborg. Aqu- well, we're going to see Aquaman, Aquaman as well. Yeah, I mean, Aquaman looks decent from the trailers, but the problem is, it's so- going to be a world-ending thing, isn't it? No, no. It's going to be a world. Again, thing. I, I do think that that all of those were. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> um, all those Ackman always seems to be it's always against the land so it's almost yeah. um, well that, that's what I liked about Justice League War yeah. is at the end or in the end credits um, I can't remember is it uh, oh, C who's the, the guy his half brother um, Ocean Master yeah Ocean Master comes up and then declares war on the, the, the top side I now need to watch that because yeah. it's obviously a sequel to well, Justice League War yeah it's Throne of Atlantis yeah um, which I've watched which is decent as well. Uh, animation's a bit poor. Is it? But um, you can see when they've, they've, they've spent the money on things and when they haven't. Have you ever watched the um, the offshoot one? One you probably haven't seen, where instead of Superman, they send um, God, uh, Zod. No. And Zod is sent as a kid. All right, and um, it's and they become like heroes, sort of thing. There's a right. it's a it's um, I can't remember what it's called, but it's it's actually a decent one. It's it's, it's a it's a good print. I mean, we've, we've had this, but Red Planet, and you, you haven't seen it. Flashpoint Paradox, where Superman no. is actually deep he lands no he land he lands in California. All right, so and um, they take him and they keep him in a they, red room, don't they? Well, they keep him in a they basically torture yeah. him and lock him up, sort of thing, and he's nuts. So, um, but it's a it's, it's Flashpoint Paradox. You have to watch that. I will. You've watched Arkham Asylum. It's took me, it only took me four years for you to watch that oh, yeah, bloody yeah, thing. Yeah, got it. Watched it. I saw it on Arkham. And, um, yeah, it's... it's it, When they do it, probably do it well. I mean, Marvel cartoons, I don't really like that much. I've watched the two Avengers ones, which I quite liked. That's it, isn't it? You can <laughs> They've all got different strengths, haven't Planet they? Hulk, mm, I didn't really like that no. either. No, I think I've seen that. And some of the Thor ones, I mean, Thor versus Wolverine, or you know, like Wolverine versus the Hulk, these sort of things. It just, it just, it smacks of cheap animation. Yeah. Have you seen Batman Ninja? No. I'll just keep throwing these out that I've watched and you haven't, because it sounds, it, sounds, it sounds like I'm just a, a cartoon kid watcher sort of thing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I just want them to to start thinking now and get a plan together. Well, is that's the thing? I mean, I'm not the thing about. Marvel, I know we go on about Disney quite a lot, but they have the tiers. They're in place. Yeah. They know what the next six movies are going to be. Yeah. DC don't know what the next movie is going to be, and it's well, and, and we know it's Aquaman. Yeah. But they don't even know what it's going to be. They're going to start filming 
the Flash movie. Yeah, well, they've got Wonder Woman next year, the one I'm looking forward to more than um, Aquaman. Aquaman, but I, I do quite fancy Aquaman, even though he's. I mean, they've they've gone for a Conan the Barbarian, you know, <laughs> whiskey drinking, <laughs> you know, Harley Davidson driving. Lobo, Lobo. Yeah. <laughs> they've gone for Lobo. Uh, <laughs> instead, instead, I mean, we've had this discussion before about who you'd want. I still think, I think, Persa Aquaman was based on Kurt Douglas and Spartacus in that outfit he's wearing. Yeah, yeah, all and, right, yeah, and it's got the blonde hair, the same haircut, yeah. and basically he's wearing the shorts, trident which he had in Spartacus as well. I personally think that's where they got the idea from. I would still rather have a, a which caught one though. Namor film, the Namor yeah. film. Yeah, well. But we haven't even discussed. We, we don't even, even know who owns Namor. Yeah, so. well, I said, I said, I thought it was. Um, It'll be with Fantastic Four, will it? No, Namor was with uh, which come from Angel and um, Bones had the rights to it. Um, oh, Dave Bryan out yeah. of Boreanis. I think, yeah, you did say that. I, I, I'm, I read it somewhere, he has the rights to Namor. I'd love him to make a more film, yeah. but I mean Marvel's got Marvel hasn't moved. They've, they've been in the space, they've been in the time, they've been into smallness. They've never Nothing looked at the oceans. See, no. Yeah, well, I suppose will that be part of the mutants? Because Namor then turned out to be one of the most powerful mutants, right? And that's where he went. And that's the line. Oh well, he we already in. know the mutants are back, don't we? <laughs> if you start saying that, I'll start. Oh, I'll that start, was a bit. News. I'll start Superman <clears throat> baiting again. No, they said um, that. It might be that they're going to have to retcon uh, Scarlet Witch's powers, because they said that they got it. They got it from the one of the stones. Mm -hmm. But it might be that she was already a mutant. That the stone has unlocked her mutant power. Her mutant powers. So she is a mutant. So that's like Deadpool. Yeah. Because he went put put through so much stress that his mutant power came about. Because yeah. that's what uh, which one was. That? What was his name? What was the name of the baddie in it? He kept calling him Francis. Him Francis. Uh, <laughs> I'm not calling him. It's, uh, it's not Ajax. It's Ajax. Not Ajax. It? Ajax. <laughs> it's Francis. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I I I think we're going to get a whole run of mutants soon. Yeah. But the, I think they're building up to the whole uh, Secret Wars. After. after uh, yeah. Well, we, we've Captain seen, Marvel. Is that you mean talk about Scroll? Yeah. And I, uh, I can't, I can't but, see but, Scrolls without Fantastic Four though. What? I can't see Scrolls without Fantastic Four and Super Scroll. Well, they've, and... I, they've, they've got Fox, haven't they? Like yeah. I said to you the other night when we went to Predator, the Predator. Yeah, I'm going to miss the 20th Century Fox logo uh, intro. And I, I mean, they should <clears throat> keep it as a business. They should. They should keep it as like a wing of yeah. of, of uh, Disney or something. Yeah, like another Miramax or yeah. another sort of thing. Keep 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 all the Fox independent. Stuff. Yeah, but... because then oh, I don't know. And it's funny as well because I watched. The, Predators last night. It's really mm. hard. And during the 20th Century Fox logo, you had the uh, 75 years yeah. thing appear. And it's like... And it said, see you just You're just throwing it away. Yeah. You, uh, I don't know. It's, it's, uh, it's like... I mean, we had this conversation about Universal and 20th, 20th Century Fox. Yeah. I always thought I should I should have, um, you know, um, put 21st Century Fox and, you know... Uh, took in oh, the name, so I owned the domain name or something like that. <laughs> so that when they tried when they hit two thousand, they killed yeah. that. Who's got it? That bugger Craig's got it. Yeah. They just take it off, yeah. You've no, they can't. No they can't. They could just buy it off me. I'm thinking of getting my donate domain name. What's that? The Ultimate Movie Geek. Possibly even, possibly even a uh, man about a dog movie podcast. No, it's all cost but two or three quid. Yeah, might might have to do it. Anyway, um, build your own website. Yeah, yeah, I'm thinking of doing that. Mm -hmm. I might, I don't know. I know someone who, who offered to do it a while ago, see if he's still interested. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know what I'm doing day to day. That'd <laughs> work. Yeah. All right, honest, honest question, honest answer. If Henry Cavill goes, yeah. do you think that's a bad thing? Do you think he fits Superman well? Because I wrote that article and you laughed. You said it's through rose tinted, rose -tinted glasses. glasses. Yeah. Um, I, I, <clears throat> do you think he's got more to do? I, I think, as I've said to you before, and I was being quite nice, and I didn't really want this going on podcast. That's why you put me in the place. <laughs> I think he's worked with a one hand tied behind his back, which yeah. I said. Yeah. Um, the problem, I mean, it, it, there's, it's. I didn't like him in Man from Uncle. I didn't like him in Immortals. Um, I'm struggling to like him in Man of Steel. 
I'm trying to think of something that I've watched them in. Have you seen Mission Impossible? Yeah, I haven't seen the new one yet. No. It's uh, not out on your DVD player yet. No, it's not. Um, and to be honest, well, I watched that, but it's it's how many chances can you give them? I mean, yeah. it's like it's like that Harmy, the one that was in Lone Ranger, who was also in Man from Uncle. Yeah. yeah. I've, he, he he's it's almost like the, the 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 big American stooge who just you know walks through everything. Yeah. Um, and I I the thing about the the only thing that makes Superman weak should be Lois Lane and his parents. That's the only two things I think make him weak. Well, Kryptonite they had is, that in uh, Batman v Superman, didn't they? Kevin Costner it was the best thing about Man of Steel. I've told you that before. Oh, I'm talking about Bobby V. Superman, you know, yeah. where, where Lois Lane is constantly in trouble. Yeah. And he has to go and save her. Mm. And then uh, Lex Luthor steals his mother, Martha, which mm-hmm. was a good scene. <laughs> it's every, but again, it's like uh, every dog has its day. Yeah. I mean, if you throw enough, I mean, as you keep saying about monkeys and typewriters and yeah, William Shakespeare, yeah, yeah. it's, I mean, it, it, the problem. I mean, it's like I'm wanting to go twenty years down the line. It's a bit like Blade Runner. I want to see the director's final, <laughs> super finalized cut, <laughs> part two. Before that, yeah, right? and um, yeah, no, yeah. It's it, it, it's it, it it stinks of really bad editing. I yeah. mean, some movies like um, I mean, I, I've heard the best movie I've ever heard edited to so something good was the film Monty. It was meant to be two hours of absolute guff, yeah. and they cut it down in ninety minutes. And it's the funniest film you've ever yeah, seen. I watched it and, not so long ago. Yeah, was, and it's yeah. like the making of the film. What I think it was, and they were telling me how it was a, it was atrocious. No, it was Jonathan Ross, and what's called the guy who plays Begsy, you know, and the name, uh, you know, Robert called, Carlyle. Robert Carlyle was saying how it was it was an awful movie, but they edited it, and it was hilarious with the time they finished yeah. the editing. They they did well with that. Yeah. It was proper big for a long time. Well, it was it? the biggest selling movie until Harry Potter came out. Yeah. So, I mean, and now they seem pushing the the British uh, independent films in the they had a trailer, trailer didn't they? Ones, yeah. On uh, in in the cinema the other night. Yeah, because about... this is England. There was yeah. um... it's a load of stuff on that. Yeah. One, though. I can't remember, but I, I like the fact that they're pushing all that sort of stuff. Gives me hope that I'll be directing one day. <laughs> <laughs> You'd have to be decisive. Are you going to direct yourself as Batman? No. Oh, Superman? Maybe. <laughs> Captain Britain. Uh, <laughs> Captain Britain, yeah. I mean, have you read his stats? <laughs> he was meant, I mean, he again went to, went to the level four mutant. He's wanted to be one yeah. of the, the, the top ultimate mutants. There was a rumour the other day that the, the, the someone's looking into doing if, it. The thing about Cat, it was always it was like a he was almost like after the war had ended. Was all Merlin you know? stuff. As yeah, well. I don't know. Well, that's, I, maybe that should should have the uh, the demon, you know, come back. It's in um, the Justice League Dark, you know, the one um, that, that rhymes all the time. Yeah, get him to come. That's actually <coughs> Batman's next party. <laughs> oh, that was uh, a bit of bit of news again. It's like stuff that I'm trying to remember because I didn't write it down. Um, Matt Reeves has submitted his first draft of the Batman. Wait and see. Wait yeah. and see. I mean, I, to be honest, Warner Brothers, it's, it's like they're, they're milking a dead cow at the moment. It's just like... It's what, constant. What, what, it's like, what form? It'll be Aquaman versus Batman next week. And it'll be Wonder Woman versus Batman. Yeah. And it'll be like all the cartoons, Batman versus yeah. Harley Quinn. I know. I agree. I think they need to concentrate on everything, oh, not just one person. As long as not Body Superman. They just... Uh, I mean, One more Superman Steel. film. Give me that. <laughs> Make Man of Steel two. You've had six, seven. No, we haven't. We've had four. Oh Christopher no, I'm not. Reeve. Oh, what? you had Superman, Superman Returns. Returns. It's five. You know, what, what was the best bit of Superman Returns? The cut scene. I think the one with the the, the gun hitting his eyelid. Got, the, the, the one in the trailer. Yeah, well, that was that. That was the only good thing, isn't it? Um, it was boring. It was boring. It was. The, the plane scene is okay, uh, where he saves the plane. Oh, where he gets the kryptonite and he's dying from it as he pushes it up and they're all thinking he's going to die. That was like the original Death of Superman. I d- you know, no, when he fell to Earth, yeah. that was quite good. And then he hits it hits the park and it, it just... It's, yeah, yeah it's, it's, it's all right. But again, I d- it was boring. Yeah, the only, and, good, thing, the only good thing about that was that using kryptonite to cut... Yeah, use kryptonite like scalpel to, to yeah, get the other yeah. kryptonite bits out. I think the um, the thing they should have done 
it was not said it in a, as a continuation of Christopher mm. Reeve. And I said that at the time. I was like, why are they doing that? Just do something new. And that I think that's why I got behind Man of Steel so much was because it was it was new. I think it was, it was more desperation. No, I don't. I don't think. Oh was, please! When that, give me a Superman. The opening of the of the film, Man of yeah. Steel. You must have been like, "This is good," because it is good. That's a great scene with uh, Russell Crowe yeah. as Jarrell, yeah. and because it it just opens up and it's like, "What's going yeah. on?" Well, Russell. I mean, I, I like Russell Crowe most things apart from Les Mis, um, <laughs> and he, he, he's. He, he, he does play the part well. I mean, do you think it was two movies spliced together? The movie with Jarrell as the father, the movie as Kevin Costner as the father? And look, which way was he going to go? Because yeah. I mean, the two of them are best, but the, they acted Cavell out of the body. Oh, yeah. Well, they had got years on him, haven't they? Mm-hmm. But uh, oh, I, don't, I don't know. Uh, we have to have live in hope because you're a Superman fan. You have to live in hope. I thought it was a river now. Is it? Yeah. I thought it was like a new hope. Oh, God damn it. There's too much going on. <coughs> is, I mean, to be honest, I mean, when we started doing this, we just thought, we'll just have a chat every week. <laughs> and we see a chat about Superman every week. I know. I, I find it quite funny. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's no one else talking to you about Superman. Is that what it is? Yeah. No, no, no. I had, uh, I was listening to Hans Zimmer the other night and uh, my wife came on and said, turn this Superman crap off. <laughs> Oh, fun of my missy said that when I was listening to Isle of Dogs. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell is this? Right. Shall we... I think we've Let's talk that. about Predator. The Predator, yeah. yeah. Right, so, okay. We we started recording... Just after. After the, we saw it. And you had to Go taxi off. someone. <laughs> he drove me. He did oh, it. Yeah, it was, his, it was his first night Because he's learning, yeah. Yeah, so I had to go and pick him up and he let him drive. Right. But we were out there about five <clears> minutes. <throat> Oh, yeah. Yeah. Because he was, well, can I keep driving? Yeah. Should have come and met me and we should have continued with yeah. that. <laughs> with him in the back. Yeah. Oh, he'd be the front drive and we'd be in the back going, ah! That'd be fine. <laughs> um, right. So we saw it. So, and we've had time to digest it because we came out. I'm, I spat it back in. Right, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to put some stuff in. Yeah. Here or wherever. I'll, I'll edit it all together. God, it's going to be so hard. <laughs> I usually just upload what we record. <laughs> I don't touch it. <laughs> and, then, and, then, and then cry and then, listen to it the next day. And this time I'm going to have to cut stuff in. And so, not like... anyway, <clears throat> right. I didn't like the movie. I didn't like the movie. Um, the the I like Olivia Munn. I think she's brilliant, she's beautiful, but she, she can look at a one microscope, can see human DNA. Yep. She can also jump from building to tall building. And chased down like Lara Croft from Tomb Raider. Yeah, uh, she can shoot. Oh, yeah, yeah, because she was keeping up with the bloody predator. Yeah, and the predator's supposed to be this massive, fast, super fast, fast thing. Yeah. And all she did was jump and fall underneath. Yeah. Um, and then, as we said before, no bullets, bullets ever ran out. No bullets ran out. Never changed it. I mean, they even had um, uh, guns for um, tranquilizer guns. Yes, and they never ran out of bullets either. No. And I'm sure they're almost like bolt action. Yes, that you have to reload. Yeah, and they never ran out no. either. Apart from when she shot herself in the foot. Yeah, which was funny. It was, it was funny. quite funny. I, I thought the funny one was when we said, well, you're going to kill me with a tranquilizer gun? And they said, yeah, and shot him in the shot eye. Shot him in the eye, yeah, that yeah. was good. Um, <clears throat> I like the, the... There was some good moments, but I think you said it, that it was cut within an inch of its life. Yeah. And, and you can tell. There are there are leaps in logic. Mm. Um, I think there's a lot of there's quite. I think I said there was intolerance to a lot of stuff in the film. Yeah, and it just came across as as mean spirited and s- stuff like that. And then they try and change the what, the, the predator themselves. And what's wrong with having this this game hunter alien race yeah. who come to a planet it's, and it's, hunt? The it's, it's most like, dangerous game. And we'll go back to Marvel. It's like Craven the Hunter. Yes. Craven the Hunter wants to hunt. And he, yeah, he's got special abilities, but he doesn't, you know, think, oh, I know I'm going to make myself better or yeah. whatever. He says, this is how good I am. It was meant to be a rite of passage. Yes. That's what it is. You're meant to become full adulthood because you performed the rite of passage. Yeah. In the lore, usually they fight, um, they fight the most dangerous people. Yeah. That's what you're fighting. So 
aliens and they, they see a lot of planets with aliens see what they, how they how they end it, up and the humans but soft bodies are they called yeah they um they, they they're fighting the most dangerous humans they can find yeah and which you know in the what? predators is what they were doing in the predators they they're taking them yeah. and and putting them on <clears throat> i think it's like it's more of a level playing field yeah. for both of them because there are two types of predators who are doing it and and if there was this blood feud between these predators you wouldn't go to the same place. Yeah, and why is one <laughs> suddenly two feet taller? Yeah, as I mean, it's I remember the um, hey, could be like six feet taller. Well, <laughs> yeah, I was thinking, is it along the lines of like um, Star Trek when it's black one side, white the other? I know. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. And it's just like um, you know they're being racist sort of thing because you're short. Yeah. Sizes. But like, yeah, they dump them on this planet, and it's a, it's kind of a free for all. Mm-hmm. But then <sighs> it's like battle royale. Yes. In space. Yes. And like, I, uh, yeah, I watched Predators last night and I found it really, really good. It it's a better, better, better sequel to Predator than yeah. Predator Two, and this the Predator. Predator Two felt like uh, just a, when we were getting Danny Glover yeah. on on a TV program, you know, on a film. It was like a cheap. It was like a cheap. I know. Um, I know. A lot of the law was mm-hmm. added in this, so you get the whole um, if you best the Predator, then. You get well. You're supposed to get the weapons. You're also supposed to get a mark just in your yeah. forehead, and a lot of the times you use the acid from the alien. Yeah. If you read the law, sort of. Well, thing. that's well, that's what they do in Alien versus yeah. Predator, mm-hmm. and even that is a better Predator film than the Predator. Yeah. Which is quite strange when it's not even canon. No. But <sighs> it's 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 it is. I mean, how often are we going to get disappointed this year? Honestly, I mean that to me was a was. Was how much of the years left? I know. <laughs> it was like a it was like a creature feature. It was it yeah. was like um No not even that because they can be good. Yeah. It, it was it was it was just it was like Shane Black came on. I don't I'm not too sure if he was writer, but they've tried to change it to to make their they've tried to put their stamp on stamp it. on it. And I don't know why, because everything there was good enough. <laughs> it was good. I, I mean, and, unless they've got an idea for two, three, four, five, and six, because it's like everything they want, they, they want to build a universe, they want to build yeah. a, a premise. I mean, that, that Mile 22 that's out at they were hoping that was going to be successful so they could do like, a, like an Overwatch universe as well. Um, and it's just. It's, they're all trying to fly before they can walk. Yeah. Before they're out of the sea, they're trying to become like birds, sort of thing. And just let them just stay. I mean, that, that's 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 all as well. Like Ant Man and the Wasp, because it, it wasn't trying to be too big for itself. Yeah, it doesn't interact with the main yeah. uh, MCU continuity mm. until the final the scene, the scene. final final scene. Yeah. yeah, and that oh, I love that scene because yeah. it just tells you so much. Great. Well, I'm not going to get onto that now. We've already talked about it. <laughs> I want it. to watch it again. I mean, as I said, I try to watch. I still haven't watched Solo. I no, tried to watch it you again. Did, didn't you? <laughs> I tried to watch it, and I just and I switched it off. And I'm thinking, that's it's. Mm. I'm not I mean, gonna I mean Chewy can't even be bothered. I'm not. I'm not going to bother. Oh. And then he sold out and did that car advert at the beginning of the oh, <laughs> Cleo one. Yeah, it wasn't even close to the mental capture. <laughs> Jesus, the it's most so boring. I should have realised when the most boring car there is has a thing in solo. Uh, oh god! But no, the 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 predator, it just it doesn't do anything for me. It, mm. it was dull, and and it's another one of those things where where a ship takes off, right? And there's people on the ground. The ship moves quite far. But then lands back in the same place, unless Olivia Munn can run two miles. Maybe we should put that thing in that you know the uh, the uh, invisibility cloak. Maybe, but it was. Th- there's a lot of stuff. A lot of like I said it jumps in yeah. in uh, logic because well, this is, this is going to be full spoilers because we've already done a minor spoiler talk earlier. Even this though it's week. the same podcast. Same podcast. <laughs> <laughs> done over two different days. Um. We after what we've said, you, you really said, want to watch it? <laughs> yeah. Well, that, that's it. You, I, I'm, I'm never going to discourage someone from watching a film, right? I might have discouraged people in the past in other podcasts, but from now, I'm not going to discourage people from watching a film. 
I'm just going to say it's rubbish. It's crap. But make up your own mind because well, we're I mean, just here talking rubbish. Yeah. We, we're not, we don't have. We're not right all the time. I mean, it's it, it's like, I've, I've said this before, I mean, um, Kamod and Mayo who do a podcast as well. I love Mark Kamod. I think he, the way he talks about everything is superb. The one problem I've got is if he gives five stars to a film, yeah. I avoid it. Yeah, because I know it'll be too arty for me. <laughs> the four out of five films that he gives, that's the ones that's I want to go and see. Because <laughs> yeah. I know it'll be great. It'll be like the, the lobster. Yeah. Oh, it's super. I'm not watching that. And it's just, and that 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 is always my way of looking at movies. Uh, yeah. Well. Yeah. Well, I think we, that was a two star movie. If, if we like a film, go see it. If we don't like a film, go and see it. <laughs> and make your own mind up. And then argue yeah. with us. Yeah. Because <clears> if you, you can't tell me if you're listening to us and thinking we are the gospel truth, you are wrong. You're because you wrong. need to, um, you've got to have your own opinion. Opinions are what matter. It's not about what just one person thinks. It's what everyone thinks, yeah. and then you argue about it, yeah. and then you find that Batman's right and Superman is wrong. Oh, no, you're wrong. <laughs> <laughs> um, it always comes back to Superman. <laughs> it does. I mean, it's it's like it's like um, who was it? Marvel trying to do it and make it look their own Superman. Who was it they tried to do? Oh. Um. Uh, I'm not too sure. No, but I mean, it's it's like I've said this. I, I can think of the. Uh, yeah. Be, uh, uh. No, I don't know. Yeah. I don't know because Shazam was a copy of Superman. Yeah. But because he was a different comic book. Um. He was magical, wasn't he? Books. Rather than. Uh, yeah. Was he not created <clears throat> initially as like a mirror image, but with magic, so he could actually beat Superman? Oh, I can't remember. No, because he wasn't. They weren't in the same. I know like Superman comics, was action yeah. comics, wasn't yeah. it? That's where they were nineteen forties sort of thing when he started. And Detective Comics was. Um... Who is it? Who is the Marvel equivalent? Because they had someone, and I'm trying. I'm trying to remember who it was. It's not Marvel. No, it's not Marvel. No, because I hadn't actually heard of them until I read. I read a comic about it. it was meant to be like their version. I don't know. Um... Another, you know, bet that we can't think of in yeah. this podcast. Yeah, yeah, we're we're, we're great. We're doing well. Um... I just I don't like the fact that the right basically what they're trying to say is that they I don't know if I've already done this it feels very similar that when they pull out the spine of a human you were talking to me about it you weren't talking about cast ah oh, right, okay they they take the fluid and they use it to genetically Enhance. modify themselves and make them better. Which sounds like, what did you say? I said it was the bad year of Incredibles. It's Incredibles. So they're taking everything and building themselves up. What, why? Why yeah. not just... Because, the, like, Predator 2 shows that... that you should the, only need to do that if you lose. But if you lose, you die. Because yeah. no one... When so, they lose... So, they, what, yeah. so and that, that's the thing. It's, I mean, it's, oh, we're going, we're going to do it before we lose? The, the whole point yeah. of, like, the Predator is you, you're putting your life on the line. If you die... That's it. That's the weak part of the genome yeah. gone. Yeah. yeah, it's it's like it's like the wolf in the in the the wolf in the packs in the in the past. They would feed on the weak. Yes, and if they died or they got old and, and decrepit and all that, they keep they kept the herd strong because you got rid of the weak, and they died. It, yeah. it's it's that is what predators are. Yeah. And and something I read recently is if you kill a spider in your house, that's one of the stupid ones, and you've just got rid of that from the the, the spider yeah. gene. So they're gonna get smarter and cleverer and and hide more, take over. Oh, well, I see. <laughs> I, I I don't mind spiders. It's flies I don't like. But in here, I'm the spiders. only person. Everybody else is like, Craig, Craig, there's a spider. It's like, <laughs> it's like the size of a, like, you know, you couldn't even tell. No, there was but, one the other day. We heard it crawling over papers next to the bed. Mm. So I had to get rid of it. Did it have clogs on? Was it like it was Harry massive? Potter? But it was like you could hear. The paper moving under it, so it's obviously heavy. So it's heavier than the grass that, that one. That, come so that went down the toilet. Did I, it? I'm not. I'm not ashamed to say that. And that I'm just a daddy because the mummy's bigger. The mummy spider's always bigger. I know. Ugh. That's when they start running because mummy spiders become more babies. Ugh. Stop it! Don't like spiders. Um, but yeah, so you don't need to take the fluid, Spinal fluid. from a human who died. To make yourself bigger and better, it just it would actually make work. you smaller as well. Yeah, but what what would you get from a human, honestly, from again well, fighting against a predator? Well, that's it because like predators, that 
they Maybe they, they come to stronger. Earth and they fight these people who are like say the top of Earth. Yeah. But against your bloody invisibility and laser cannon on your shoulder, mm. it's like shooting fish in a bucket. Did he shoot his own head off when he turned left? Yes, he yes, he did. Yeah. Uh, they, 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 separated, <laughs> they separated all the armour that they had between them. And like, oh, it's going to come back to you. It's going to come back to you. Put it on your wrist. Oh, you don't have a wrist thing. There goes your hand. Stupid. No <laughs> one thinks in this film. It, it's, it's, it's like... It's not done for laughs. Yes. I mean, the best laugh in the first one still... I don't get time to bleed. Yeah, uh, I've got time to duck. But no, you know what? Right, that is is perfect eighties alpha male. Yes, alpha male. I don't have time to bleed. Yeah. <laughs> and, and, and then later on, do you have time to duck? Yeah, because it's a callback. Yeah, and it works. The the handshake between Schwarzenegger and and Carl Weathers. Yeah, and it just lingers on yeah. the muscles for like two well, like twenty strongest. seconds or something. Yeah, yeah. and it's like. Right, that's a proper macho thing going on there. Yeah. But I love it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but then this film, they try and reference Predator so much. Like, oh, what, what does Lovely Mun say when she sees the Predator for the first time? Um, she, it's the opposite of what Schwarzenegger says. Schwarzenegger says, you're, you're one, ugly, you? you're one yeah. ugly mother, right? And yeah. then she says, you're one beautiful. Yeah. Right. Good reference. And then later on, there's a load of motorbikes in the in the in the yard, yeah. and someone says, "Get to the choppers." Who calls them that? No one calls them that. No. See, was there not a helicopter beside? And it's a get no, to the chopper. No, because no, no, it's a load of the guy was the guy was a helicopter pilot. Yeah, but they get the it's helicopter the later. They could have got the helicopter because it would have been sensible. But they then turn up on the bikes, so they're saying, "Get to the choppers." No, it doesn't. It's not funny. It's not big, and it's not clever. I agree. I was there. Oh. And I mean, there was another one as well. What was the other? The, the, the one with the, the force Tourette's field. Guy. The force field. Force field. The force field. The guy's trying to shoot it. He doesn't. One ducks. One jumps. The other one just sits and waits. His legs to be chopped off. Which one's that? The one who was the pilot. The one that was the, the one to hug people all the time. The, did he, the, die? The next, he died on top of the plane, the, on top of the predator ship because his oh, legs yeah, been chopped yeah. off. One, jump because one, one yeah, jumps yeah, yeah, up, yeah. one ducks down. He stands there going, "Well, I'll just shoot no, it. I'll just, I'll just I'll shoot walk it. back." Yeah. Well, you've seen what the others are doing. You duck, wouldn't you? Because yeah. <laughs> then you're safe on the ship. Oh. yeah, and the Tourette's guy because as soon as he's given a gun, so the gun lobby have paid for this. I'll give you a gun, and you suddenly be, your, your Tourette's is. Well, yours. that's what you said as well. These people uh, uh, have have. Uh, like post-traumatic post 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 express, yeah. yeah. Um, I couldn't think of the word, but yeah. yeah. And and they're they're on this coach. They're going somewhere, uh, probably to a hospital or mm. something to be kept. Hopefully, hopefully. Yeah. Or, but then again, because they, they made the uh, government out to be proper Baggies. killers, didn't they? Mm. Like they, Olivia just Munn, just Olivia Munn shot herself in the foot with a tranquilizer dart, yeah. and then you hear this guy coming over and say. Ah, oh, just put a bullet in her. Yeah, that's okay. But then these guys, these trained guys who have PTSD, uh, PTSD, then become the best People soldiers since Predator One. <laughs> <laughs> All they did was an Indian was cutting himself yeah. in half, and a bloody a bald black guy. Well, yeah. They did have a bald black guy, didn't they? <laughs> yeah, they did. All they did was he jokes. started shaving his head. That'd be fine. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. That, again. That's so good, isn't it, in Predator, where he's just he's got this razor and he's constantly <laughs> yeah. shaving himself. And then he just cuts when he sees it <laughs> yeah. and he cuts his face. And like I used to think, oh, how's he doing that? Because I was a kid when I watched yeah. this. <laughs> and then I realised that uh, it's fake. Oh, <laughs> well, because he was so nuts. Because he was the one they were all scared of. Because oh. they were all scared because he, what was he, he, was, he just turned <laughs> started with the one in case he was going to start killing all them. Yeah. I like the, the opening of the film. Is is very reminiscent of the first Yeah, I one. like the music as well. Yeah. You know the the the, the, Using the old jungle. Music. Yeah, the jungle. Da, 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 da. Yeah. yeah, that was brilliant, and I really enjoyed. that made me think of the, the original movie yeah. with fondness. Yeah, but then it moves from the the jungle setting and that, and, yeah. and moves on. Um, I, uh, it was quite. Poor. Oh, that's what one of the jokes that that worked for me was his son, the uh, Boyd Holbrook's son. Um, 
Yeah, the the uh, reverse psychology. That was the that was the oh, the, oh yeah, the, that yeah the reverse psychology. Yeah, that was the best joke. You're using reverse psychology. What was he? Yeah, so <laughs> don't go fuck yourself. <laughs> You made me swear on this thing. <laughs> you got me swearing, you git. <laughs> no, I'm, the bit you said it before where he said, uh, what are you going to do, shoot me with a tranquilizer gun? Yeah. And then he does, he kills him. And then his kid says, um, we'll try not... Uh, he yeah. says to his kid, we'll try not to kill anyone. And then the, the kid, kid looks down at the body and says, <laughs> from, now. from now on. And he says, don't look at the body. <laughs> it's like, uh, what is the difference between a killer and you? Uh, killers enjoy it. I don't enjoy it. Yeah. Uh, well, then he said he did me. enjoy yeah. it, didn't he? Oh, was that? No, that was in Predators. They, yeah. they have something similar in that, where he's like, um... oh, I can't remember. Yeah, because uh, Adrian Brody's talking to the woman sniper, and he's like, um, the reason why I'm like this is because I enjoy it. Yeah. Pretty much, and that's why I've, I'm like this. So, but yeah. I like Agent Broad. I think he's a right good baddie. Yeah, I'd like to see him come in and, want to, and play a proper bad. Yeah, I think he'd have been a good purple man. Yeah, I mean, I know which one was really good at that's it. But I mean, good. yeah, but it's just Brody can play bad. Yeah, I. You know what? You know, at the end of the Predator when that uh, thing yeah arrived, the one that looked said, like something out of. Uh, Power Rangers. Yeah, when it said Predator Killer. Yeah. I actually thought they were going to link it in with Predators and have Adrian Brody in it. Oh, Christ. Because then he could come back yeah. with a load of, like, technology and <laughs> or something like that. But they have to move out into space, don't they? I mean, have they going to, have they going to go into space? Have they got the... Because he's got all the information from the computer. Yeah. Has, have they now got the the means to travel? Yeah. Because if that your little lad can basically break... He's, he's downloaded everything from the computer. Yeah. Yeah, he's got the yeah. They know so. What could it be? And, that and why is to... it? Why is it they've got an Asian, say Japanese guy taking over, it and then suddenly it's um, it's Godzilla time again because he's got a suit. I mean, that's that's the one thing. I mean, are they going to, that? It did look so much like a a Power Ranger suit that was untrue. <laughs> yeah, it was very. Uh... Yeah, because why would it look like that? Yeah. Because why? Why would it look like the? Like a predator. It, was yeah. more, it wasn't like really like a predator. It was more like a. I don't know. I mean, unless it's some a, a girl's it, went over there. It is looked, it meant? Is it meant to look like um, Rick, uh, Ripley? <laughs> Christ, that'd be weird. What well, it? Yeah, it's. It's probably. I was really looking forward to this film. And I think I, I, well, I, I talked about why I wasn't looking forward to it before that. Before yeah. I'd read, but yeah, I was looking forward to it because oh mean, yeah, the, uh, yeah, the I mean, Predator, the original movie, if they'd got that back, brilliant. Yeah, brilliant. Predator one, I can watch that in a day of the week. It's one of my favourite Schwarzenegger movies yeah, of all is, time. Yeah. Um, the Danny Glover one was, yeah, it was. It was odd because it was, it, of, of what like. How it was set, yeah, and and where it was set, and it was it was a bit it, of a hot time. Wasn't well, it was it like not? a different, it was like a different universe to what, because it was I think it was made in the it, early nineties and it was then it was set in ninety seven. Yeah, it was downtown LA. Everyone was supposed to be killing each other in the yes, heat. Yes, that's of thing. yeah. It was it was a bit mental, and then but it's still canon because mm. they mention it in this film. Um, but di- you saw you said that uh, Independence Day Resurgence was. Pants. The one you saw in IMAX, yeah. IMAX. And that made the movie for me. That ended with them saying, well, we're going to go to the stars. Yeah. From what you said, do you think that's what they're going to do? I don't know. Is that better? what they're going to start following them? I mean, Maybe. chasing back after them? Fighting back. Mm-hmm. I, what I did like as well was the fact that they they bring up um, the name and, and they call it the Predator. Yeah. And then, and then they argue like, well, one. actually, no, because Predators don't... Big game hunter. They, they yeah. eat, don't they? Yeah. But he's more of a hunter. When the original take trophies. The original yeah. script was Hunter. Yeah. And it was changed to Predator because... It sounded better. Sounded cool. Like <laughs> said, yeah. <they> said <laughs> but, <clears throat> I don't know. It just seemed it's, a little... It, it, was just, it was just a waste. I mean, we've seen this so often. Is it... Did we really think, because we're drinking bigger and bigger Cokes, <laughs> that we can't stay in the room for more than two hours? Yeah. Is it like a, a it's like a twenty ounce water with a ten ounce bladder? <laughs> I mean, is that is that what they're thinking? Uh, because it just seems. I mean, if you if you finish a movie in two hours, maybe you've got time to go and see another one. 
it's it just it, what why why has it got to be two hours? It's why well, it was why? just under, wasn't it? Yeah, but I mean, the, 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 we talked about the, the DC world. They all try to get it to two hours. Why is two hours so? I mean, there's films that go on for a lot longer than two hours, and yeah. we really enjoy them. A lot of rings. Yeah. I'd, I, I, oh, you know, I'd I mean, the first nine pages of The Hobbit lasted like uh, a movie. <laughs> Not that I'm complaining. Uh, well, I'm complaining because I'm I was complaining. really, really looking forward to The Hobbit. The Hobbit. And then pants. the first section of the first film When you meet the dwarves. When, yeah. when you meet the dwarves, you meet Gandalf. Gandalf and Bilbo's conversation is is pretty much straight out of the book. Yeah. And then I think they realised, oh, hang on, we've only got like 20, 20 pages left. left. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to have to slow this down. Yeah. Let's add this. And then... And then they do the whole section in uh, Mirkwood. I'm talking about The Hobbit. Uh-huh. We should have a Hobbit. Why? Why would you want a Hobbit thing? Well, we'll do Lord of the Rings as well. Uh. But when they're walking through Mirkwood and there's the whole interaction with the spiders and all that, that is so rushed. I would have preferred a lot more time spent in there to build, build up the disorientation mm-hmm. that is in the book. Why rush through it with a stupid montage of them trudging through like that and then being caught by spiders? Cheapness. But then they add shit in that doesn't make sense. <clears throat> and the whole CGI crap of the, the them going down the river in the in the, the barrels. barrels and Do you know what? You're you're more heated about this than you were of the death of Superman. It shows you what you're yeah, yeah, you're real you're really a hobbit fan, aren't you? You're really a <laughs> I grew up with a uh, lot of rings. It was. Did you watch the original cartoon one? Uh, the one that I've done that stop at like. Yeah, but I watched that and I, I. It's just John Hurt, isn't it? I watch. Uh, yeah, John Hurt plays um, Wilbo. Yeah, no, he doesn't play Bilbo. Uh, he plays Frodo. Strider. Oh, Strider. He Is plays it? Strider. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I went to the pictures <laughs> to see that. I was eight. Yeah. I those orcs. I shit myself. <laughs> I was scared. Oh. But I, I think that... But I was desperate to see the next one. They never made one. Yeah, no, they didn't. Did they? Ah. <laughs> the, um, the effort that was put into Lord of the Rings were, was just immense. And then what I loved about it, so you got these extended DVDs and the amount of information, stuff that was put on that, the behind the scenes. You even had like um, set designers showing what they were mm. doing and... And and costume people showing what the different costumes were. There's hours and hours of stuff on the DVDs, and it it's one of those see, things that that kind of inspired me to look more yeah, at films. See, the the thing that that's one of the things that annoys me now is I probably haven't bought a DVD yeah. in five six years, um, and I used to like all that the additional bonus features. Yeah, now I just get the movie. You know, yeah. off Amazon. They only have off, one thing, don't they? Yeah, Sky or whatever. And I'll just watch it. And you don't look to see what extra you could have missed. Blooper reels. I used to love blooper yes. reels. Yeah, yeah. I mean, Jackie Chan's blooper reel was the best. They were, were they? Yeah, yeah. It, was, it was my most <laughs> favourite part of the movie. <laughs> Skip yeah. to the end and watch the blooper reel. I know. it's the, the, They seem to have lost a lot of stuff from. from it's almost like instant gratification, but you, instant gratification. Doesn't breed long term love. But there's the, there's a load of people that I I talk to online, uh, so I'm giving a shout out to them. It's some of the people who do the uh, worldgeeklynews.com, mm-hmm. and and they one of them said that they ordered Avengers, the American yeah version, because they have more on the special features, but they also have because our version doesn't have the thing coming through Coulson. Yeah, it's like. Just put it in. If you've got it, add it. Mm-hmm. It's, but I used to love all those, all the little, you know, little Marvel extras, the little miniatures. Like yeah, the, the funny the, thing the happened made to the hammer. Yes, yeah, yeah, I mean, it was... But that was when you first really saw Coulson's a badass. Yeah. I mean, I mean, well, that's it, it isn't it? Yeah, yeah and I suppose you, you think he's just like this mild-mannered, you know, like yeah. a civil servant. Yes. And then he's in that shop and he beat your kick's ass. <laughs> but I suppose that's what... They, they uh, like, went off into... Um, Agents for Shield, yeah. and expected that to be as good. But you even had like the Agent Carter stuff. Mm-hmm. I thought Agent Carter was as good. Yeah, the, I, I thought. No, I, I mean, I mean, before that, yeah. you had the one shot of her, mm-hmm. 
uh, doing a role, and then I think that went off into the series, yeah. which then they cancelled after two years. <coughs> yeah, two great series, and they were they were good. Yeah. And then they've kept Inhumans, which I didn't really <laughs> bother watching. And they keep making other rubbish, like Cloak and Dagger. I'm not even bothered. No. Have you tried Cloak and Dagger? Uh, no. It's, I mean, it's... Yeah, I can see that... I mean, Netflix at the moment... I mean, I'm watching... I've said I'm watching Jack Ryan. Yeah. I watched the first four episodes this morning while I was ironing. <laughs> including. And um, it's it's brilliant. But it's, it's sensible. Yeah. I've said it before, and... It's, I mean, is is it they've got all these people doing little projects almost to see who does the best, and then it's almost like a a graduation thing. If yeah. you do well in the TV series, do a TV series. We'll give you say one of the lesser movies. No. Maybe one of the lesser movies. It could become I, that. It could be, but I think because uh, there's a guy who's in charge of the TV area. I think he's, I want to say Ike Perlmutter. Well, Fage is the other one. Be. Fage in the film side. Yeah, he's. I think they don't like each other, uh-huh. and he's in control of the TV stuff. That's why none of the TV people interact okay. with the movie people. Uh-huh. So there's a bit of a rift. There. Where, where, where is that? Marvel is succeeding in getting everything back from different mm-hmm. movie studios. You now have a rift between like the Netflix stuff, yeah. and, and it's like oh, I, I'd love to see Coulson back. Yeah, I'd love to see him meet up with the Avengers again, because it would be quite a a, a na- But then again, they can't now because they're, they're going to end it with mm-hmm. with Avengers Four. Because we, like I said the other night, <laughs> in has the same he, podcast, has he died? I, he's still in. Yeah, but in in the uh, has he died? He's one of the ones we don't know if he's died or not. Oh, good point. Because I mean, I don't. Who's going to take over Shield? Well, I don't know because we 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 haven't watched. I haven't watched Agents of Shield. I don't know where it's up to because I give up on it. There's too. no, there's no crossover to it. There's no point in following that if you because I'm more in, involved with the films, mm-hmm. and if if that doesn't impact on the films in any way, like it used to in the first series, that episode seventeen or whatever that crossed over with mm-hmm. Winter Soldier was perfect, but they don't do it anymore. Yeah. So I'm not going to watch it. Is that because of the time problems? Because they kept, we, we were trying to work out the times and the films. <laughs> yeah, we were. So, I mean, if, if, if you'd be jumping back and forth all the time. Well, I, 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 I heard that Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. have blasted off into the future as well. Yeah. So, I don't know. Well, that's time travel again. Yeah, I like time travel. Mm, that's because you're a Trekkie. Yeah. Trekkie or Trekkie? I was, uh, I was filling in a form this morning for my son's acting. And I, you I didn't borrowed, put religion, did no, you? I borrowed a, I borrowed a pen from the uh, um, the desk, and two people were talking, and ZZ Top were on. And uh, which, she, show, which one? Give Legs, me all your, give me all your loving. loving, right? right? Uh, <laughs> I don't know how to sing it, yeah. <laughs> but the guy was talking to the girl, and she was like, "I don't know who ZZ Top are," and the guy was like, "I was just writing stuff down. It was like a permission slip." And he was saying, oh, I can't think of any film that they're in. And I just went, Back to Future 3. <laughs> <laughs> do, 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 do. That's one of my favourite bits with the spin, the, the spin yeah. the, the guitars. And he went, he looked at me and I was like, oh, cheers, yeah. Have you seen Back to Future 3? What did the woman say? No. No. <laughs> I had to walk away. How old is she, though? Fairly young. Well, that's what, why, I mean, how old is Back to Future 3 now? I don't care. It's a classic. Right. I have the same problem. I tried to explain to people what Von Ryan's Express was yesterday. And they all went, what's that? Sinatra. Sinatra. Oh, I love that film. Yeah. It was on film four, and I'm saying it's one of, It's one where they showed he could act. Yeah. You know, it's like it's like when Elvis does his movies, I thought to do it for fun. This is one he did it properly. Yeah. And it was a brilliant movie. It's... And he dies in the end. Uh, I was gonna say Yeah. Because <laughs> yeah. at the end he's like And the train yeah. trying to catch which train to get shot and yeah. it's just Oh, it is, yeah, it's a good film. Mm. Yeah, I remember watching that at me uh my granddad's years ago. Yeah, I mean that's <laughs> it's a, it's sort of film you'd watch for your granddad on a yeah. Sunday afternoon. I'm a, it's me, I'm one of my dad's favourite movies. Yeah. My dad, I mean, I, I love my John Wayne's from my dad and my granddad and these sort of movies as well. I mean, um, Ed McClint Eastwood in, I'll watch, and uh, most things with John Wayne, yeah. unless it's totally racist from like uh, <laughs> the 1940s and 50s. 
Or the most Genghis, stuff is Genghis Genghis Khan. Yeah. <laughs> you knew exactly what I was talking about straight away, didn't you? Well, uh, you know what? One of my uh, one of my one of mine and my wise favourite film is um Don't say the great show, don't say no, the show. No, not gonna. Um Murder by Death. Are you all going about that? We did. We, yeah. I think you. You. Had, I've watched it. Had yeah. you seen it before? I had. To, I'd seen Cluedo, which reminded me a lot yeah, yeah, of yeah, it. Yeah. But I have seen it. Had seen it. I didn't remember it, but I've seen it. Peter since. Sellers. Yeah. But what I think I, I said this to someone a while ago, and they were like, "Oh, it's a bit a bit racist with the uh, the Asian makeup yeah. and all that." But but if you look at it, it's more of a parody on. Um, Check it, it's the Charlie Chan one. Cha- yes, and it's, it's a parody ones. of that, isn't yeah. it? So he's he's parodying, actually parodying taking the someone, piss out of someone being racist. Someone being racist. Yeah. So it works on that level. Yeah. It, when he comes and he's like, he's got his Japanese son there though. <laughs> <laughs> like, but everything it's adopted like, son go. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, watch Murder by Death. It's. It, yeah. It but might not be very PC, no, but it's no. it's funny no, what shot as in hell. The dark? Shot in the dark's better. Shot in the dark. That's the second Pink Panther movie with Peter Sellers, isn't it? Or even watch the Revenge of Pink Panther <sighs> where his boss turns nuts. No, starts, I, starts it's shooting not, himself it's, in the nose. It's not that. just oh. Peter Sellers though. I love Peter Fork in it. Yeah. He's just he's just Columbo. Yeah. But he's playing this possibly homosexual <laughs> uh detective. Yeah. And he's like <laughs> I think the woman who's with him says, um, "Oh, what's he called in it?" He's like, "Why, why do you have all those?" Uh, <laughs> I can't remember what she says. Like naked muscle man mags in your in your office. And he says, "Suspects <laughs> always looking for suspects." <laughs> and it's like, <laughs> "Oh, come on!" But it's got um, Truman Capote in as well yeah. as as uh, the guy. And it's it's got um, Alec Guinness yeah. as well, who plays, plays the, the blind butler who doesn't know where he's going, and then they get a a deaf mute, oh deaf. What what's the, what's the politically correct term for mute? <laughs> I'm not too sure anymore. <laughs> um, a sh- chef or cook, and so you've got the interplay between Alec Guinness and the woman. She can't hear him. He can't see her because she's holding up. Like written, Can't. it's so funny. It is. It is just funny. Watch it. Oh, it's so good. It's one of our favourites. Mm. Uh, that explains it. a lot, really, doesn't it? <laughs> <coughs> Revenge of Pink Panther's better. Yeah. <laughs> you said we said this about com- com- comedies that stay funny. Well, that must be yours. Then. Yeah, it's just it's one of those, and it's like airplane that just is funny all the time. Oh, Revenge, of, Revenge of Pink Panther, where he starts <laughs> I haven't himself watched. And himself. I like. Oh. It's the Revenge of the Pink Panther where um, his boss starts turning nuts. Oh yeah, yeah, and he has and he the shoot, castle and that. Yeah, and he shoots himself in the nose. That's the one after. Oh, is it? He starts, oh, he starts shooting himself in the nose. Which is he shoots his finger off. He shoot. He cuts his finger off because he's got and he just he keeps twitching all the is time. Is it the one where like, his boss is like in the floor below? It's it's the one where the woman has actually stolen the Pink Panther, right? And it's like it's the one where in the in the 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 um the sauna. But he's got one of those wax noses on, and yeah. the wax nose keeps dripping. I like uh, the bit that he's fighting with uh, Kato. 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 And and it's in slow motion. It's yeah. like like that. <laughs> We're gonna have to have maybe a, oh, a retro nice. retro oh, movie retro podcast. Sexy movies. Well, oh. I mean, I mean, it's a choice. You've got a choice. You, you, I'll give you a choice, right? You can watch Jason and the Argonauts, oh. Sinbad. Uh, oh, and on. the Eye of the Tiger because I picked the right one I don't know if I like them films oh you got to <laughs> and the stop motion skeletons yeah the Harry Housen isn't it uh, or anything else he's done with dinosaurs mm. and just the land, uh, yeah, time, the, the, the land that time forgot yeah oh well right Our, that's those 60s and 70s movies we'll, were super we'll call it a day because I now need to shoot off Makes a change. Um, it does. Um, You've got to give your son a taxi <clears throat> rather than my getting yeah, my son a taxi. Yeah, I know. I need to get there before they... Although I've signed the form to say that they can't let him go until I get there. Um, so you go on Tuesday? You yeah, know? Tuesday I'll get him. <laughs> I'll be not there. Um, you better hope he doesn't listen to this when we'll he's just, We'll just do a... So you didn't like it? Bad, 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 James, bad James Bond movie? movie. For the product? Bad, poor, poor, poor. It was poor. It was, it was a good premise. The guy being framed, I liked... 
Yeah. The fact he was being framed by the government yeah. for the death of his people. Yeah, good conspiracy theory. Yeah. Then it just went pants. Yes. Yes. I'll... Up until up until that, up until the bit where the predator in Olivia Munn's brought in is good. Yeah. I like it. The, the bad guy's bad. The the good guy's <coughs> good. Um, sorry, it's one of those good serial yeah. killers. Yeah. I, I, <coughs> as well, I think there's... A, the, they could have... I'm not too sure if I missed it because of the stupid 3D glasses, but I don't know what the time scale was as well because it looked like... Looking back at it, it looks like the living ones that brought in to work on the Predator mm-hmm. and then there must be time passed because it doesn't feel like it. It feels like it's all done in the same day. Well, he's got to walk somewhere yeah. so he can post it. So yeah. How long does that but take? the P.O. box doesn't have money. Mm-hmm. So... It must have been in a PO box for a while, and then do you know what I mean? It yeah. could have benefited from three weeks later, one month later, or something like that. I don't remember seeing anything like that, so it just feels like when the predator crashes, the predator gets caught. Big but predator comes. How long does it take the big predator to get? That's here? what because, I mean. Because he watched them escape. Yeah. Did they have to trail those? Well, that, that, yeah, that's what I mean. I I just think. It would have benefited if we knew how yeah. what the time difference was mm. between crash and Bob. escape or whatever. Yeah, yeah. So, but yeah, that that's the show for this week, and hopefully next week. What are we doing next week? Uh, well, the house house with the clock on yeah. its walls. It's just when we've got it free time. Mm. I've I'm You're away. Line, yeah. I'm I'm off Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. I'm off Saturday as well. Wednesday never coming back, but I will have to kiss the messies and. Mm. Um, I'll have to see you possibly Thursday. Thursday. Okay. I'll just have to see. Yeah, me too. <laughs> because it's, uh, it's, it's getting, it's get, I mean, because I'm away for three days um, with my conference, it's, yeah. it's, I would like to see my missus occasionally. Yeah. yeah. She's even left me today to do this in peace. <laughs> no, she's got prior engagements. Yeah. I've, I've, I've got Ireland to do. Snuck, snuck out of the house. Go get the boy in a minute. He came um, for the bacon sandwich. Oh, the bacon from. sandwich was lovely. Toasted bread and brown sauce. Anyway, we'll call it a day. Uh, you, I'm the ultimate movie geek. Uh, you are Craig Stick of the Dump. <laughs> yeah. Lambert or Lambo. That's what. Did you read the the write off about us in mm. on the World Geekly News? Yeah, people keep yeah. arguing with each other. It's yeah. just two old men. <laughs> just two men in the pub. It's Siegfried, Siegfried and Buddy. Oh yeah, he said two middle aged men. Yeah. I'm not middle aged. Thirty three. <laughs> Thanks, Paul. <laughs> I am middle aged. Yeah, you are. Um, yeah, so you can you can find us on the worldgeeklynews.com. Yeah. What do you think you want to write any articles? No. <laughs> All right then. Because <clears throat> I don't have time. No, I really well, don't have time. Do it's, uh, you've got the time you're on the train, Johnny. Yeah, that's my, I, that's the one I, I write. basically with, 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 with the job that I do. Um, I don't have any free time. Well, I had to ask because you've got a lot of knowledge that you could get down and I've got a lot of um, small pieces of knowledge which (laughs) I spread very thinly. Yeah. Oh well. Um, I I have I have nothing that you could actually back up with any proof. Well, it doesn't matter, does it? Um, uh, You can find me on Facebook, YouTube, Instagram at the Ultimate Movie Geek. Um, You can contact the show at madmoviepod at gmail dot com. Mad spelt with two A's because I'm clever and not mad at all. <clears throat> no, and uh, man about a dog movie podcast at gmail.com. You can also leave a comment under here. Two or, grumpy old men, two, or two grumpy, grumpy middle aged men. Well, yeah, that's it. That's the show for this week. Is that why you're wearing shorts and the rain? Is that so you don't look like you're old? So that's so you don't feel middle aged? <laughs> <laughs> right. That's <laughs> uh, <sighs> made my day. Ten minutes. I've got ten minutes to get. You got ten minutes to get. I'll see you all later. (laughs) (laughs) Where's the thing? It's not turning off. Is it not? There we go.